not fucking with you niggas Y'all been shaky like some strippers What's in my cup? Boy, I'm off that liquor Looking at me crazy Get you hit up with that flipper I'm not fucking with you niggas Y'all been shaky like some strippers What's in my cup? Boy, I'm off that liquor Looking at me crazy Get you hit up with that flipper I'm not fucking with you niggas Don't care if y'all fuck with me All up on the nigga pace Trying to keep up with me All in private talking down But they know what's up with me In my presence show respect Before that shit get ugly I had some pussy niggas I had to cut off what it is, what it ain't. It's your boy Low Key V. And it's your main man K3. And it's me, Mocha Bank. And this is Paid, Paid and, and Bays. I'm on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm going to be honest, man. I'm trying not to be fanned out right now. Yeah. Like, it's hard. You know, I like to get, <laughs> you go. You know, <laughs> you know, you know I'm a real <laughs> two ball nigga. Yeah. I like to give niggas they flowers, man. We got a That's real it, heavy hitter in the house today, man. For real, I'm, I'm excited about this one. Yeah, Moten already made niggas feel old. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, man. <laughs> yeah. And, and outside of that, like, it feels special too because, you know, outside of the statue, we got somebody who really do fuck with our content and our podcast. Yeah, I fuck with y'all shit. For yeah. I, be, I be tuned in. Yeah, for yeah, real. We yeah. appreciate that. Organically, girl. too. Yeah, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, I don't even know how I can. I, I don't even know how I came across, but then once I seen one episode, then I started watching that shit. Them boys got some. Damn. Mm-hmm. And her. She's talking about home. <laughs> yeah. That's, so. that's good to hear. I mean, really, you know, I, I mean, if you're from the city, I really shouldn't have to do no intro, but we got to do it because we, you know, we got viewers everywhere. So, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you're outside of Florida, really, you should know outside of Florida too, but we got Young Cash in the building, man. Young Everybody give it up for Young Cash. What do they do? Yeah. Young Cash. How you feeling, bro? Feeling good, man. Feel good to be home. You know, I stay in the A now, so every time I come back home, it's always a good time seeing my family, friends, and shit. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Come check out weird. what's going on out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We seen you doing you doing some things in the city since you've been here, doing some hostings and clubs. Yeah, I, was, I got a couple. Uh, you know, most of the people who uh, got spots out here are like personal friends, so mm. you know, I go and yeah. check in and shit. Like the uh, you know strip club home with Jay. We brought me with that. I got my own sister Asia. She doing the uh, cocktails tonight, and okay. we got a show at uh, UNF College tonight. So, mm. okay. and I got a video shoot today. It's a whole bunch of shit going on. Uh, there. Yeah, but I had to make time for y'all though. So, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we appreciate, appreciate that. that. Hey, for, yeah. Real. Yeah. Love. for real, we ain't even know all that. Mm-hmm. And I, I do want to say, like, we don't work with a lot of people, a lot of great people. You know what I'm saying? But the professionalism, like, really there, bro. Communication. Mm-hmm. There. For sure, for sure. We appreciate yeah. that. For we sure, for sure. Yes, yeah, sir. Sometimes we be in this bed. Are they coming? <laughs> I don't know. Cut, cut that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that should be real though. Yeah. But nah, this for me, I'm gonna say why this special, right? So originally I'm from New York, you know what I'm saying? So one of the first local songs I remember this this is gonna make you feel old. But when I was a jit, nigga had a boom box with a mix C D. Damn. And you know how like, yeah, no, yeah, nigga had a boom box with a mix C D. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And number four, four on that bit was that. Let me see who's on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is crazy. I had to take an extra before I came. Oh my god! <laughs> but it feel Start crazy. Just it feel crazy to say CDs like that shit. Yeah. Really super old. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had that bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, uh, Boombox though, you could program that bit so it play what you want to play. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had one played too. The fuck out of that bit. Wasn't a Boombox, but it was like one piece in the middle and then the two speakers. Mm-hmm. And that bit was blue. Yeah. With the CDs. Yeah. When we used to go to the flea, we used to get in the mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta get in the mix. Yeah, yeah. 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 I really want to Middle school Oh my god Grinding like I'm grown You had me turned That's not crazy I was in middle school too That's crazy That was That was Yeah I was in middle school You know I came out in 2008 Yeah Yeah, middle school school. I think it was 8 or 9 I can't 8 Yeah Yeah, definitely middle school Yeah cause I was young as fuck Listening to that um, Mm -hmm. That X and and I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. I ain't never popped the X pill in my I life. That's how I go. That. Ever. I was, I was <laughs> like, like that. Don't be that scared to pop off with me, baby. <laughs> my, my brother Lahin, now he is the he, the, he was the X man. Yeah, that was. Oh man. Now that's crazy because because of you and sixth grade, I was popping X. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nigga, that ruined my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> that was an obs- it was a, it was an observation song. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah. At the time, you know nah. what I'm saying. Like we used to be at the, Fox, the Silver Fox Strip Club, and we used to always have little after parties where all the uh, Silver Fox strippers. Mm. I used to be all we used to put the uh, they used to put the black. Uh, th- curtains over the windows, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they used to pop off. Boy, they used to be going. Oh, oh, everybody man. going. Like I'm talking about, everybody going. That, that shit ain't the same. I remember elementary school. Yeah. My brother and them used to be on them Blue Dolphins bad. Like, yeah, man, that tweaking. shit crazy. <laughs> tweaking. I don't know what that means. Look at that. You don't okay. want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way that you represent Jacksonville. You speak of us highly. You're always talking about sure. Jacksonville. I had a question. I just wanted to know, like. What was your upbringing like here? Like, what side of town you grew up on? Like, my daddy is uh, Murder Lab, nigga, and my mama is from Orange Park. That way everybody say, oh, he's mm-hmm. Orange Park, all that shit. Uh, so, that's hate. Uh, yeah. That's yeah, hate. but <laughs> it's all good. They I try love to it. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I'm a du- so I'm a Duval nigga and I'm a Clay County nigga, so I don't, you know, it is what it is. But, like, my, uh, you know, my upbringing in, um, on the West was like, you know, we moved around a lot. We, my, uh, I got two brothers. My older brother's the one who started me in the music shit. My brother, Lil V, God bless the dead. And uh, my my middle brother, Wade, we, he wasn't really into the music shit like that. But we all came up playing sports. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was my thing, sports. Like, mm-hmm. football, basketball, Pop baseball. One. Yeah, mm-hmm. all year round. Pop one, then, you know, Little League, baseball. That's who you play for? Basketball. I played in Orange Park. It's a uh, little uh, thing called OPAA. Yeah, okay. So, we, but we played everybody. I was mm-hmm. seated there all around. I'm at um, uh, Pop Warner Fields all around. But mm-hmm. it wasn't like, mm-hmm. um, like I, as, I, as I got older and that shit, that shit was like, is you gonna be? Is you really going to the NBA? Or that's you really how going to, that's you know like the hardest conversation yeah. you gotta have with yourself. Yeah, with yourself and keep but it real yeah, with yourself. Yeah, that shit sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when I went to college, my brother was like, man, he he he, he, he I mean, for dead. Like my brother had all the money in the world. He was street nigga, had all the money in the world. But he got mad because I left and went to college on a basketball scholarship. Mm-hmm. So he was like, um, yeah, nigga, is you going to the NBA? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you ain't going, you might well come home and get this money. And do you know what I'm saying? Do this music. Niggas don't understand. You, you try to hold on to that shit as long yeah. as you can. And I let in my senior year, I let um, Jacksonville in the scoring at 31.3 points a game. You mm-hmm. feel me? So I had all the colleges all over the world trying to hit me up. But mm-hmm. when they came and see me, I was a little nigga. I was 5'10", 150, mm-hmm. soaking wet. So they was like, how this mo- little motherfucker scoring <laughs> yeah. all these points? Yeah. Well, you going to be guarding motherfuckers at 6'3", 200. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't do nothing with that. So I ended up going to a small school in New York. But my brother starved me, man. So I said, I, I had no choice but to come home, boy, and get to yeah. it. You feel so me? Uh, based off of that, uh, that was, let's let, let's take it back. Let's take it back to them plus days. You know what I'm saying? And that's crazy. when your music really used to go crazy. So mm-hmm. like, like she said, we know you grew up in the city. But how, how did you... Get that start. Like I know you said your brother put you to do the music. Yeah, like, my brother was doing the. Uh, we had a group called Nine of Folklore. Like we was the first group in the city that was like, like you can go in. Remember back in oh y'all don't know how young y'all was, but you, you know you used to buy the CDs out of stores mm-hmm, and shit. So mm-hmm, we was the burn. first niggas from Jacksonville. Like after the '69, you know, I, I got to get them boys. They, they probably, yeah, they, yeah. but you know after that it was a long spread. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything was popping in the city. Mm-hmm. So the nine oh four click, you know what I'm saying, was the first C D that I seen in like in the store. Like we had actually in the store. store that we had distribution, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. through Southwest distribution. Yeah. So that was, you know what I'm saying? I'm seventeen years old, like I'm seeing my shit in the store, you feel me? Like, that shit means you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was it was dope. All right, shit. That's how so that's how I got started. And eventually, like, me and my brother, we used to always get bump heads. So one 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 time we got into a real bad after we had a show, like in Stark or some shit. And we got into a real bad, and after that, I was like, man, fuck this, I'm going solo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> on, some, on, on, some, on some mad shit. Yeah. And just, and it ended up working out, you feel me? But, you know, it's I always love my brother, but that's what sparked me to go, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, solo. How old were you then? Oh. How were you were solo? Because I want to really touch on how did you get discovered? Like, how did that Yeah, um, when I went solo, I think I was like, maybe about 2021. 20, okay. The first song I did uh, was Give Me a Bottle. And, um... We did me and MGZ did that, and then once I, I saw the yeah yeah I seen the I seen the formula what it was dog. Well, my formula was money. You mm-hmm. feel me? Money gonna make a bitch move. You feel me? So yeah. what I did was Mm-mm-mm. once I did give me a bottle. I think at the time Roxy was popping. Mm-hmm. Oh, the Roxy, yeah, yeah they the Roxy, used to do the team parties there too. Roxy mm-hmm. and then the, whatever they was doing the team party like TJ the, TJ DJ. Mm-hmm. Him and uh, like all the little young that was doing the team parties. Every time I go somewhere and they play my song and Big and Rankings of course like mm-hmm. in, the, in the other club. Mm-hmm. Every time they play, give me a bottle, thousand ones in the crowd. Shit went up. Mm-hmm. Every fucking weekend. 
every, dog, every fucking weekend, every, bro. Right. I ain't miss a weekend. <laughs> you feel me? We used to swing this shit up. That's why I said this shit different. Like, yeah. these niggas, like these young niggas, ain't nothing against them. They all, I, I fuck with all the movement, all the young niggas, but they ain't, dog, they ain't had no movement like us, dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Shit was different. Yeah, it was different. was different. The sound was different. The, the feeling was different. Like, back then, niggas used to really dance in the club. Like you know, what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the grind of the artist. Yeah, like, just going. They didn't have no. They, no, all they had to do was nowadays is put that shit on oh, on Instagram, yeah. Yeah. and they you to feel me. Yeah. And that's why a lot of that shit don't be translating the way it's supposed mm. to. And that's why you I get pissed off when they do this. Who put the city on shit? Like, and I don't. Even, I ain't even gonna toot my own horn like that. But I'm just saying, like niggas, we had to really put this shit on, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel me? Cause I don't even really hear these young niggas even talking about Duval. Or uh, mm-hmm. repping the city like that You know where these niggas from When they come yeah. out yeah. We had to do that shit You feel me mm-hmm. When I was yeah. coming up Like we had to let these niggas know I'm in Houston right. with this shit LA, New that. York It's like as soon me? as they blow They go to like Atlanta somewhere yeah. They don't really say where they yeah. from So mm-hmm. I feel like The kids that's like They fans They don't really be knowing Unless they want to tap into the culture right, About right. The, the murder shit The murder in shit the city. Yeah mm-hmm. and when I think about it Like like I said I'm 27 So like when I think about it Like the first Like nigga that I knew Who was from Jacksonville Was a rapper was you for sure. Like that's the like the first like my first instinct on that shit. For, for sure, sure, for sure. But yeah, I I I I like man. I don't know. I just feel like they cheat in the game when they don't give like niggas they props. Like mm-hmm. y'all got to realize, man, we had to fight for this shit, bro. Like yeah. nigga don't understand, nigga. I'm in, I'm traveling. I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying to put the city on all these different mm-hmm. cities, all these different states, bro. Like. Yeah. These niggas ain't have to do that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So how you feel about like the narrative that Jacksonville has that like to really blow? Well, at least that, that's what it is now. Nah, to really blow, you got to leave, dr- dr- and, and, and that's when you get the that's when you get the support from the and city. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that that my whole thing was not to leave. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because they were saying that because they said that's what 95, 95 South and sixty nine boys did. Like they had to leave the city mm-hmm. when they was in Orlando or whatever. I said, no, nah, I'm going to show niggas that you can do this shit right from here. I got mm-hmm. my deal right from Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel me? They found my, the dude that found me, to, to get back to what you were saying, how I got discovered, the nigga that found me was a nigga named Ty Dash. He worked at Universal Records. He was on who had, uh, he was head A&R over Nelly Project when Nelly did the, that 10 million. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he came to Jacksonville on a promo run with some group that had a Universal and we performed tonight because we had a club called Choices on Lane. Okay. Like um, us and Big and Rankin. So we performed that night and he was like, who was that little nigga right? He was asking about me, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Out of the whole group, he was asking about me. And we connected, he connected with my brother, you know what I'm saying? Then and we've been tight ever since. And then once I went solo, he came and got me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, okay. So like, what you were saying about like the younger guys, you feel like they doing it different, you know what I'm saying? They're not really putting off of the city. If you had like any advice for a young up and coming artist in Duval right now watching this, what advice would you give them? First, first, let me say that they I, the, the the way that they don't have to put on for the city is I, I like that. It's a mm-hmm. good thing, you know okay. what I'm saying? Because I feel like we did that. Yeah. I did that. I mean, it's already it. known. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, yeah. I'm saying like the way they don't have to do that, and which I like. I didn't want nobody to really know where I was from. If 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 you look at it in retrospect, because I just want to be an artist mm-hmm. and just do what I do. I don't want to have to be like, oh, I'm from here and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I don't think they're doing that right now because they don't have to don't no have more. To. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. now they got that platform where anybody can see them all over the world, and if they're a fan, they're a fan. It yeah. don't matter where you're from. You know what I'm saying? But to tell the young artists like the all this shit boiled down to is hit records, bro. Mm-hmm. You gotta have a hit song And you gotta have some swag I mean it's a lot of shit that But you gotta start with the music You feel mm-hmm. me You gotta have a hit yeah. song If you ain't got no hit song Then you ain't got shit Facts You feel me And ain't, and I'm not talking about a hit song Where you and a couple of your homeboys Thank you five And all that shit It gotta be The masses oh, gotta believe it yeah. yeah That is a hit song You feel me Household name type shit So you yeah. influenced a lot of people Like who are some of your biggest Musical influences Oh everybody know I'm a three stacks head Like okay. Andre three stack <laughs> That's my favorite You know what I'm saying Okay And uh Racism. I like um I'm an R and B nigga though man at the end of the day like I don't yeah all that that's rap part, shit I don't even I don't even listen shit. to a lot of rap shit yeah that's bro. how we bang here too yeah, yeah. I listen to a lot of R and B that's how we bang here too and and, yeah. and while we was on that same subject too like um I wanted to pick your brain on how you feel about the new sounds that's that's like pretty much popping right now like. I feel like everybody got a different sound, some people, but then a lot of people got the same sound. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. What you mean as far as Jacksonville? It means I, 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 I want to say kind of Florida because I feel like it's transitioned a little bit. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Bro. I, don't even, I don't really listen to rap mm-hmm. shit like that. You feel mm-hmm. me? I mean, if it come across my desk, it'll come across me like something that's popping. You can't under mm-hmm. like the, like uh, Boss Man Dealer popping right now. You can't. Yeah. You got to. I'm hearing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with it. So. 
I, yeah, I feel, yeah. I feel, I feel like, like anything that's popping is popping for a reason. So right. I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all made like feel good music and kind of like it just now they be going for more like it's like Florida drill. Like they kind of just want to flow on the beat. Sometimes they only got a chorus. They just want to yeah, take I hate off that shit. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hate that shit because one of my little artists, Soldier K, he be doing that shit though. I be hating that shit. The Jits love it though. Yeah, because yeah. now I be like, where's the yeah. hook at? Because now it used to be three verses. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Back in the well, I don't even do that no more though. But like, I do three it's not that no more. Yeah, nah. now yeah. it's just yeah. like, because motherfuckers of, don't really got the attention span. Yeah, the attention span <laughs> yeah. is low as a motherfucker so it ain't the way you can have the song that's four minutes. A lot of motherfuckers like a song to be like between a minute, 30 and two minutes which is kind of crazy. I can never do that. That's like, shit I, mean, I, mean, I, I can't like, do it. Like I, I, like I can't. I, I, if it's good, I was just listening to Pop yesterday. I'm like, this nigga really got like five minute songs. Yeah. Yeah. Every 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 they, song is five minutes yeah, on the album with, three on a double shit. album. Yeah, 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 like that's crazy. But that was because of the content wasn't as easy. It wasn't you can't you ain't have access to it like you did like you do now. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like you could get music like that now. You feel me? Yeah. You couldn't do that back in the day. Shit, you had to go buy the motherfucking song to hear that shit. Or you know what I'm saying? Or you weren't gonna you were gonna hear that shit. Yeah, bigger rank is calling. I do think um, right now that Florida, as far as just as a region, is leading, or I say is on path to start leading the industry as far as music, music or whatever. Like, I feel like we got a real big influence right now, yeah, we and we got shows. some motherfuckers. I feel like can really like take it to the next level. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel like we got a lot of underrated people too. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying? everybody know Golden Boy Counter probably my favorite like yeah. Florida rapper. I feel like Mood Boy, Jimbo. Yeah, the fact that we got just all these niggas that we could just yeah, throw yeah, out yeah, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying like that just show like where we at. With but this if you shit. if you go like I'm not saying y'all don't, but like if you travel a lot like I do. It's, it's like that in every city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like that in every city. So mm-hmm. you never know what's going to happen. But somebody, like, it's always a, a one or two or maybe even three people out of that state or whatever or out in respective cities that really got a chance to elevate. To elevate like yeah. Rod Wave did. Like, I seen this whole shit. Yeah. Now he, done, he on a whole nother level now. Yeah, though, he different. Yeah, we need yeah. something. Like, we need more more of that. You more, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm not saying that like, we don't have the, the uh, artists that's talented enough to do it. It just ain't happening. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But yeah, yeah. it'll happen. You feel me? Okay, so... Now, since we got the background of that, um, everybody know you heavily associated with Nappy Boys, T Pain. Yeah, yeah, sure. So when did that link up happen? Oh, that link happened because, like I said, I was a young nigga in Jacksonville, making moves, going to different city. You know what I'm saying? Putting on, like letting mm-hmm. them know what what it is. And I ended up in Tallahassee. Actually, three of the player Van from Sixty Nine Boys, mm-hmm. he was on the radio in Tallahassee. So him and Felicia Fox, um. Uh, called me to do an interview. Okay. So I left Duval. You know, we came like we came. We used to go. We used to go to Tallahassee so much and terrorize them hoes down there. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm talking every week, but yeah. anyway, Shout out them tally hoes. Man, that shit. Was crazy. I'm talking. I don't think y'all understand, bro. Like, yeah. we used to really terrorize this shit. But oh, I, said, I was out there for a couple of years. It was yeah. all love. I done did a oh, few man. homecomings. <laughs> man, we, man, this yeah. wasn't even homecoming. Like, it's regular day to week. Day. Day. A Tuesday, bitch. Yeah. Uh-huh. that. You know what I'm saying? And he hit the moon on Wednesday. But anyway. I was going out there to do an interview on a radio station, so they was playing the, the Spawn song. I'm like, God damn this shit, Jim. I said, Who this is? They was like, This uh, T Pain, the uh, he's the youngest dude that na- um, Nappy Heads. Mm. I was like, Well, who did the beat? And I was like, He did the beat. I said, Shit, let me, you know what I'm saying? Where the fuck he at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I said, How much you charge for the beats? They was like, Man, that man charged like $50. He a young, you know what I'm saying? He charged mm-hmm. like $50. I was like, Man, tell that I had like 20 racks on me. That's how I used to go down to Tallahassee. Like, mm-hmm. I go by, I bring about 20, and then we're gonna, we gonna go ham for the whole week. Mm-hmm. But, um, I was like, Yeah, I, I get a hundred of them, bitches. he's $50. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let go. So, they called him, that he pulled up, he came up there with his homeboy, and I had followed him back to his house. Went in, it was shit like a shack. Went in the house, he had his little room, had this little setup in there. I said, man, let me put me on the mic, man. I wanted, I wanted to get on that, uh, that shit that make your voice sound like that, yeah. I, whatever. It was. I didn't know what it was called. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'm just singing on that bitch, like saying shit. That shit was funny and fun, right? Mm-hmm. So then he started playing beats for me. So he picked, I picked three beats, and then so you know, going to wall, yeah. give him hundred fifty dollars. He said fifty dollars a beat. He's mm-hmm. like, he said, oh no, the, the beats five hundred a beat. I said, what? So you know, he when well, he seen me though, I was in the home on Lamborghini yeah. though, iced all out and shit. He seen he seen yeah. money, so he was like, oh, this nigga got it. I'm up my price. Yeah. But he was like, Yeah, man. He's like, I said three of them told me charge fifty dollars, my boy. He was like, he said, Yeah, man, people in the city be trying to hate on me, man. Like they don't really want me to get no money, man. But I was like, I know how you, but I said, bro, trust me. I know I'm from Jacksonville. Yeah, you know how that shit yeah, I know how that go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars a beat. Yeah. So I gave him a thousand dollars, I gave him three grand. And then I, that was the most money he probably ever had. Well, he told me that himself that. Mm-hmm. So then I said, just 
I said, I'm, I'll, give you another, I'll give you another seven, I'll give, and it'll be a total of 10, and just come back to Jacksonville with me, just come and drop in my studio for me and all the artists, all the yeah. artists and shit, um, MOE artists. He was like, bet. And they came down, he was staying for me for like a couple months, so he was just in my studio. That's why everybody see that video with me, him and Lil Duval in mm-hmm. my studio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, Ryan, that, that was the time. Yeah, so, shout out Lil Duval. Yeah, and then, and that's how I met Payne. Because I feel like people who like, not don't really know the culture and not from like this uh Florida, you know what I'm saying? They don't really know like that people is T Pain like Robert Red, Robert Red, Robert Red. Yeah, for sure. You know, like it was a staple in our hood, be like, Who is that in all, all that, that black? black? Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hard, so, that's the T Pain I knew. Who are some of the biggest artists you've worked with other than T Pain? T Pain, um Akon. Mm. Uh, that I work with, or yeah, just or with, or I, I, me and Akon got a record, mm-hmm. never came out. Uh, me and Bun B got records, never came out. I had a, I had so much shit. I don't tell you, I'm different from these niggas. Like these young niggas in Jacksonville, they ain't they wasn't fucking with nobody like that. They were just doing it. I was actually doing features with niggas all across the country mm-hmm. as a young nigga. Like I had Akon, Bun B, Mike Jones, Paul, all them boys on my on my mixtape, unsigned. You mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. Paying them boys out of my pocket. But that's probably the biggest person who I don't work with, like, as far as, yeah, this Akon, like, because I only really like working with niggas. What happened with that, um, All I Do Is Win record with DJ Oh, uh, that was some bitch shit. shit. Yeah. They, uh, when I, when I signed to Pain, Pain bought me out of my deal, because I got a deal with Universal. They shelved me because of some bullshit, then Pain bought me out of that deal. But when I signed Pain, uh, our manager was the same, Mike Blumstein, and he was like, "Whatever song Payne do next for Khaled, Cash got to be on it because mm-hmm. we just signed him. We trying to get him some exposure. So you know my shit. Everybody know I'm the win guy, the win squad. I started this win shit. Mm-hmm. Feel me? So mm-hmm. I said, Jeezy always got like the win. Yeah, MG's one of my, you know, MG just started with me. Mm-hmm. Well, us the nine oh four click shit. So MG and you know he with us the whole team, the whole win squad. Everybody know what it is. So I was like, let's do a win song, bro. And then he's like, yeah, that, that's a bet. So he did the hook. And I did a verse. I did my verse. And then um, they sent it off or whatever. Then they was like, your shit too hard. This going to be a radio record. You know what I'm saying? So you got to dumb it down a little mm-hmm. bit, Cash. Come on now. I'm like, whatever it takes, bro. I ain't tripping. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm, with, I'm with trying that. to win. You feel me? So right. did another verse. Then when once they turned out, when then Cali hit bite, like, hey, man, I kind of already had everybody who I know wanted to be on the song, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what? I said, nigga, this is my idea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, we doing this for me, for real. Yeah. So I got shitted on that. You know what I'm saying? I went, so Payne was on that bit. You know, I already knew, bro, I'm telling you, I, when I heard that shit, bro, I already knew what it was finna do, bro. Yeah, that was I one of the It's one of the ones, like, when you're in the studio, you hear that shit, you're like, this shit out of here. Yeah. Mm. I already knew what it's finna do. So I was like, damn, I ain't tripping. I said, so maybe them niggas put me on a remix or something. So, you feel me? Mm. Man, that shit got out and blew the fuck up, dog. Then they did a remix. I'm ready. Why I do this when it happens? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's curdy nigga again, bitch. Yeah. So I like, God damn. So get what? I said I'm gonna do my own shit. So I picked. Up, oh, I am tripping. I'm tripping when I said that. So I picked up my phone. Mm-hmm. I called my niggas and did my own hood. Uh, all I do is win. Okay. So I called Bum. I called Bum B. I called French Montana. Um, another person I work with, and I ain't say I forgot. I be forgetting. You took French off though. Yeah, we took French off because his shit was trash. Yeah. He, don't, he don't like me to this day about that. <laughs> I was just gonna say like, <laughs> so you. I, I'm trying yeah. to imagine him on that. <laughs> so you got, like you got, you got, you had like mixtape French on that bit. Yeah, mm. Back, uh, cocaine, cocaine, whatever the cocaine yeah. cowboy, whatever that CD, uh, okay. the mixtape shit they were okay. on that French. But um, he was still he was bubbling though. He, that shit you know, was trash. Right? That shit was everybody, trash. everybody, it wasn't just me though. He thought it was it wasn't that bad. It wasn't trash. Nah, yeah, everybody said fun. the shit was trash, bro. Uh, when Sean yeah. J, <laughs> when Sean J and uh Smoke, two niggas that I respect lyrically, and when they say it's trash, it, it, uh, everybody said it was trash. I yeah. thought it was trash. And listen, the nigga was trash to be a, a New York nigga. Yeah, it was some yeah, New York yeah, shit. Yeah, right. But at yeah. the end of the day, like I, I did this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I called, like I said, I called Bum B French. I had Smoke and Sean <laughs> from Field <Phil> Mob. <laughs> Two chain or titty boy back then. Two chains. Okay, okay. Yo Gotti. Mm. These are all my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Out of my phone, I picked yeah. up. They mm. Yeah, they did it. It's on. Look on YouTube. But that shit was so big. That shit was just you could. It, the song was so yeah. big. Like they wouldn't even worry about my little shit. But I had some heavy hitters on that bitch, and everybody swung that bitch. 
Payne even got on a remix too. Mm. And see, so a Payne lot of people, nigga. yeah, a lot yeah, of people don't really know nigga. what go on he, behind the scenes. Yeah, but he should have. But one thing I will say, and this is, and I, you know, I tell Bro to with like he should have fought for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He because he, he had the power to do it. But Payne, mm-hmm. Payne, I've always told him his, his whole life. Like Payne, y'all understand? Y'all might see him as an international icon, like if the world see it, but he don't see himself as that. Mm-hmm. So he don't like. He, yeah. yeah, he th- he be dumb. And, <laughs> he don't understand how big yeah. he is. Like he don't understand the, the power that he has. Yeah. You feel me? I'm a, I'm a big T Pain fan. That, that's I, your last time using big like that, bro. He the pause. I forgot you from New York City. Yeah, like right. You know he the pause. I'm like, all right, nah. Pause. Pause. I can't. Yeah. Why you telling niggas they music trash? Um, y'all, your music trash. <laughs> nah, I don't say it like that. Yeah. I just be like, you know. I just this, I don't, ain't, this ain't direction we want to take. This right. you <laughs> I keep I always keep it professional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I keep it real though, I'ma tell you. Mm-hmm. But but another nigga trash to another nigga might be raw to another nigga, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can never say something tra- well, you can say it, but you never know what's yeah, gonna happen with that shit. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, but what I was hitting on was I done seen like the documentaries, the behind the music with T Pain and shit. Yeah. Like a lot of people say he real humble. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And then that, I think that's why I started going viral on Twitter about like so many people was like, damn, like this artist ain't do T Pain right. This artist ain't do T Pain right and shit like that. Yeah, he get like that because he bro, he did a lot of shit for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But when free when, features. Yeah, and yeah. when he got down when after that Jay Z shit and all that oh, shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He um his boy when he uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy when he uh, when his homeboy did the auto, death auto tune shit why well, he, he did I thought that was hate it wasn't no hate though where on the song did he hate yeah, yeah, no, he, he, I thought he that bigged was hate. him up he, he said y'all keep painting too much yeah much. but oh, I felt like it was hate that mean that mean y'all buying off of him. Okay. He's paying too much. The top niggas was yeah. I feel like I feel like that was that was that was like nice hate. No, listen, 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 listen. Though, if a nigga go to a, if a nigga is the biggest pod podcast in the world, mm-hmm. and he say y'all niggas paying bays too much. That mean they yeah. copying y'all style. style that mean y'all yeah. copying them niggas too much. That mean y'all niggas is the nigga. Mm-hmm. That's it's true. The niggas. But say it in another way though. Oh, yeah. that, that's the way I wanted to be saying. Y'all keep paying it too much. Y'all niggas copying this man too much. Say, like, y'all niggas need yeah, to rap. chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, copying yeah. this man whole style. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to say that was a lot of times he did that though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And even like with the Usher shit, when we found out like what well, Usher said to T Pain, you know. What yeah, I'm I wish I would have been on that plane. Yeah, that was crazy. I would have slapped that nigga in the shit. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> wait, wait, feel me. What Usher said? He told him he told like bro, he ruined his. He said you single handedly ruined it. Ruined bro, R&B. R&B, yeah, because everybody started using. And then and then went proceeded oh my to God. drop OMG like. We auto tune. That's crazy. That's how I be though. Yeah. yeah, them niggas was yeah. just on some hate shit. But at the end of the day, but it did see him blow into a state of depression. So he was down. For a while, mm-hmm. but then when he was trying to come back up again, started work again, none of them niggas who how he did all them songs for all them motherfuckers mm-hmm. in the street, nobody wasn't hitting back. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. So that's when we went to the, like management was like, man, we got to get pain back in his element. Mm-hmm. So we went. They, they flew. They flew us all to uh, what was that? Panama City, mm-hmm. random city in Florida. I don't mm-hmm. know why they chose Panama yeah. City. We they, they, yeah, they was like, we got to get pain back in Florida, back in his element. So we all went to Panama City, and that's when he came up with up. That and brought him back up, mm-hmm. up down record. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that's what brought him back. We know. That, you know to hey, what I always say, like me and him had these conversations because we always just be coming up with like random theories for like verses and shit. And I always be like, bro, ain't nobody seen T Pain in the verses like that. They did that shit. Is they did crazy. It. They did it. Him and Lejean did it, but it was before it got to. Oh, uh, okay. it, they did it in the early stage. It was like one of the first. Even one. against Lil Jon, I ain't. Mm. No, no, no. I'm telling yeah. you, now, Lejean got some shit. Because you he know, can play a lot of shit or whatever. Like, yeah. Because you can do the stuff that you produce. Yeah, you produce you know and, all shit, and, and, and all that shit. I know shit. it was some talk about, I didn't understand it when they was putting like him against Future. And I'm just like, that's, that's, that's that Bugatti shit. That was the whole Bugatti shit. And yeah. I, I had to go through it with them free bands, niggas. <laughs> yeah. a whole bunch of shit. I'm like, T Pain made feel good music. Like, me, I'm a big T Pain fan. That was, a, but that was a wrong move. He, yeah. he should have, like, well, I'm going to tell you, I'm a real nigga. Like, when right is right and wrong is wrong, I, mm-hmm. I tell my niggas that. that you, can, you can't be my nigga if I can't check you. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, that was the wrong thing for Pain to do. He should have did that. Yeah. And he already, he, he said that too. Yeah, man, I, I shouldn't have did that. But it wasn't, your nigga wasn't your space to even say that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was upset because, you know, he Future was getting a lot of credit for the auto tune at the time. Mm-hmm. And he was the one, like, cause, and, and he read a tweet that the Arab Boomer. He read a tweet that said, Future is the new T-Pain. Then this he lost it. Lost <laughs> it, boy. 
Because he one of them niggas that'll read comments, bro. Like, you a yeah. nigga, you an industry icon. Why the yeah. fuck you care about this white 12 year old boy yeah. with six followers that say yeah. T Pain suck? You feel that's me? how he is. Bro, you like, boy, you got it, boy. That shit was. Yeah, that shit. What you told me, Phil? What? Read oh yeah, he do read everything. He, he don't do it no more though. He got out of that though. Yeah. He, got, he don't do it no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he don't do it no more. But that shit used to piss him off. He read one comment, piss him off the whole day. But he read a nigga said T uh, Future's the new T Pain. So he proceeded to say, if Future's the new T Pain, then why he got to use my Bugatti for his video? <laughs> Like, that's that's hate. That, bro. That's that's hate. Hate. You feel me? Right, right, bro. That's not like you. That's, that's <laughs> and come on now. That's like that's like V pain is crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like when the hoes come around, you be like, yeah, yeah, I like how you wear my watch, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 round the hoes, round the hoes, yeah, round the hoes, boy. You can't do that, boy. Nigga, be like, boy, God, take damn, my t-shirt yeah. off, bro. God, damn, boy, you just gonna rock the motherfucking sweater like that? Go to the store, nigga. Yeah, he did. I said, he said we got a show tonight. I said, bring my Rolex. <laughs> yeah. no, really. you crazy. Crazy. But that's what it was like though, you know what I'm saying? So I had it, I was like, bro, that was but after that in the free man's nigga, oh we gonna fuck pain up. No the fuck you ain't. Free man's <laughs> nigga, all hundred of you niggas. I'm only one floor the nigga in ATL. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm telling shit, pain, yeah. I'm like, man, you doing this shit, nigga, we in ADL. Yeah, that's the floor nigga in Atlanta, but we, it ain't it ain't a lot of us. Why he had well, gang well, I, them, I, I understand talking his shit cause like Bro, that nigga catalog go crazy. I remember, it ain't like Future said it. Remember, remember we had a but discussion. But it wasn't even Future. It wasn't even Future song. It was Ace Hood song. Mm. Oh, you I feel me? So you oh, way okay. off. I woke mm. up in a new Bugatti. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to pay the maze couch, so I do want to get into our little, you know, our topics and stuff. So let's I do love it. Everything you said. Mm. Now we finna get into it. Before, before we jump into that, I just wanna. Um, I know you've been putting out some new music. Yeah, 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 you got for some, sure. Yeah, things like that. So you want to speak on any of that or whatever? Oh, not nah, well. I got Florida Heat. That's out. That came yeah. out. Um, I think couple. I don't know how long ago that came out, but Florida Heat is on on all platforms. Yeah, like seven months ago. So I just let that shit do it. Do I just put a mixtape out called uh, "Retired Drug Dealers of America." Okay. So that's on. That's online. It ain't on the DSPs because I got like some samples in that shit, so we couldn't put it on the platform mm-hmm. shit. So we just put it on um, Audio Mac. Mm, okay, YouTube okay, okay. shit like that. So, I was gonna say the Blues Brothers is that just a single? Or no, that's no, no, that's, a, like that's a, a whole project. project. Okay, this shit yeah, crazy. I'm like when y'all that. see how it transform, yeah. you are gonna be like, yeah, like it's like a whole, like a, it's like nine songs mm. of a whole, you know, like a movie site type yeah. shit. Yeah. So the first like, one you see, I'm getting out of jail. If you see, mm. if y'all seen the intro video, it's like a concept. Yeah, it's like concept. a concept. So okay. the first one, I'm getting out of jail, and then it just introduce some pain. Pain talking about me and his verse. I'm talking about him, like how we met shit in his verse, and then that's the intro. Me getting out of jail. Now the first thing, what's the first thing a nigga want to do when he got out of jail? Get some, some pussy. pussy. So, that's the, so that's the next, the next, the mm-hmm. next single is "Biggest Booty." Yeah, that's right, man. And mama can wait. What? You and, hear me? And um, <laughs> shout out, um, shout out, Midget Mac, man. I see he yeah, yeah, a lot Mac, of your stuff. Yeah, Mac up there with me in the A, man. He, yeah. Matt actually, for they finna do another uh, reality show with like a bunch, a mixture of all the old reality mm-hmm. ho- uh, mm-hmm. people's on that show. On MTV, so nigga was proud as fuck. Midget Matt was yeah, listen, yeah, man. I remember the first time I seen him was in my uncle shorty shop. Mm-hmm. He came up in that bitch. I mean, that bitch. I'm a kid. I'm like, that's Midget Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, yeah. I'm the king, bro. I'm the king of skipping the game. You feel me? Like skipping the whole process of shit that niggas got to do and getting like with that shit. I just had connections. My manager at the time, Reg Reg, he happened to know the people who was running the show. So mm-hmm. it was millions of people trying to get on that show. And I told my manager Red, man, I said I got to get LeBron this shit, bro. He gonna kill this shit. Yeah, he did. He slid man. right through, right to the front of the line. You know, saying through the connections with my people. Yeah. And he got in. Like I'm talking about two days. Mm-hmm. We did a video at my yeah. studio on uh on the west side, on uh in Timberquana, the uh, top notch studio. Timberquana. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he did, we did the little video there. If you can pull that shit up, that shit is the funniest shit. Where if y'all got any like background shit, where y'all <laughs> do the background shit, yeah. show, mm-hmm. man, this shit so motherfucking funny. His audition tape, bro. Next day they were like, he on. Now, that nigga, that nigga funny, and I'm gonna tell you too. I had seen him again, OP Mall, and then my dad shot. He was in there with a bad, thick red bitch. Boy. <laughs> I'm like, you was hating. <laughs> I know who that was. <laughs> that was, was years ago. Yeah. 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 That, was, that was Peachy. Yeah. Girl, yeah. Was Peachy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in that Peachy. He's doing that with Peachy. Peachy bad. The booty shorts. I'm like, yeah, Peachy he, bad. He and that bit like he know he that nigga boy. I'm like, yeah. That was the realest. On the show now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. That shit he didn't go against himself. Yeah, he, he did. Against himself. Yeah. He did his thing. What can we expect from you in the future? Um, well, we got, you know, Blues Brothers shit, and then I'm gonna probably drop my project. 
and um probably in the end of the year. But my single dropping on my birthday, May 29th, shot, it's called Shot Check. And that's okay. the beginning of the tour. So, yeah, you know, we tour every year. So the first day of the tour is May 29th in Houston, Texas. Oh, so okay. I'm going to kick off my uh, birthday and I'm dropping my single Shot Check. Some bad Featuring shit. Featuring pain, pain on that one. Mm-hmm. So we're going to turn up. We can't wait to hear it. All right. Yeah, shit. All right. Let's get into these topics then. Um, I'm trying wow. to be. I'm trying to be in the video. I'll be in the background like hating on you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got yeah, that blood. Like, <laughs> we trying to tap in. Everybody. You put a chain on when you got. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Everybody need a robe. That's good though. Yeah. Look yeah. 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 that bitch. Hmm. They got like acting skills on again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody else ain't gonna hate. Right. Yeah, you gonna need. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Before we get into what it is, what it ain't, man. T Pain, Midget Matt, we calling y'all out. Y'all gotta come be on the couch and oh, for sure. They definitely, they definitely do it. For yeah, sure. Most definitely. Because we we big fans in here. Yeah. And we I like already done did a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pain gotta see me on that. Hey yeah. T Pain for this I seen like one of this uh the little intros y'all did for the Blues Brothers. Yeah. And you were sitting there, he in that bit, like just uh getting on you. I'm like, this he really funny. Yeah, like, yeah, he, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. If y'all all the shit you see on film, bro, is how we is in real life, bro. Like this shit every day Like all we do is clown bro mm-hmm. We just have a good time Every day No matter what it is We just be clowning bro That's what we do Yeah. So that's just Your shit coming over Onto the camera bro That's it That's 100 man So we happy to have you here So you know what I'm saying We like to do the interview portion first But then we like to So you paid in bed Is how we get down So Oh here that's you a go pause. Mm-hmm. That's a pause Here you go <laughs> Then it turn up <laughs> So let's go. get into What it is What it ain't Um I know you be tapped into the show, but that's a new segment we just added. For so sure. she's just going to tell us a current event, a topic, and we're just going to answer if that's what it is or that's what it ain't. For sure. Okay. So we're going to start with Keith Lee. Keith Lee, who has gone viral for doing food tours in various cities, paid a visit to Sweetly Seasoned Food Truck on January 31st. The struggling food truck business in Dallas received a $4,000 tip from Lee. He also offered a generous tip to a barber who was providing haircuts near the truck. In total, he was charged $4,000. Hodge, which is the influencer who initially tagged him to come try the food truck, said he put it on the Sweetly Seasoned Square account. And the influencer claims that she was only there because her um, her friend was the owner's son. So she asked her to come and help his mom's business. According to Hodge, after providing free meals for only three customers, the owner told her to charge everyone else despite these requests <laughs> and also did not the give greed. Hodge or the barber any of the money. The, gre- the greed. Yeah. This is some niggas that did this. I really I say I really niggas did this. That ain't what it is. That's crazy. <laughs> I went into a TikTok dive about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that nigga, man, when he came to Atlanta, he was with us. He came and uh, hung out with us after he did mm. the, uh, the, uh, the little shit he did in Atlanta. They was going crazy. Yeah. Was trying to kill him and all. Yeah. 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 He came with us. Man, we we had a, twin? Yeah, we had a show, we had a show <laughs> that night. So we, he hung with us that night at uh, at the uh, fest we, at, in Atlanta. So mm-hmm. he, he a cool ass dude, though. He yeah. cool as fuck. I thought he was like, Keith Leaf hung with us at the strip club. Oh, nah, God, he ain't know. come with us. He had us yeah. cheering with him all. His family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He a family, man. The crazy yeah. thing about Keith Lee is... Nigga really beat the fuck out somebody yeah, for real. That too. nigga's a real MMA fighter, boy. <laughs> nigga talk yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. You better have your pistol, boy. He, he, he would beat your motherfucker ass. That serious, man, he'd be like, again, I'm about protecting my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, I will kill him. Yeah, he, he, yeah. yeah, he got hands. Now he got hands. Yeah. I didn't even know that, though, until I like dug mm-hmm. into him. like Because mm-hmm. I didn't even know who he was that night. When he was with us, yeah. they was like, "That's my uh, our road man. He was like, that's Keith Lee. I was like, nigga, who the fuck is that? I didn't know who the nigga was. You feel right. me? But he was chilling. He cool ass nigga though. I yeah, met him. he just started coming up like <laughs> out of nowhere. Uh, so, um, nah, I feel like that's definitely what it ain't. Like, it makes black business look bad. I, I looked into the whole thing. So, basically, it's like they had an influence. The, one of, the daughter of the owner is cool with a TikTok influencer. So, she had her come out thinking like, oh, she gonna make Keith Lee come. So, they on live and shit. He wound up coming. He did a um he left a four thousand dollar tip on Square. Mm-hmm. He did say like the barber get a thousand. He 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 designated yeah, where it's supposed mm-hmm. to go. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, of course, black people. Niggas. They in that bit. Did he really say that? <laughs> <laughs> Cause he kinda said Trying to mind trying to mind for the old Yeah, but niggas gonna need, bro. Mm-hmm. They gonna need. That's what it's mm-hmm. not. Like that's not cool. Man, that ain't it's cool, greed, man. man. Blocking your blessings straight up, that's real, man. Check this out, man. No, I'm just yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just damn. seen another story. This girl, she it was a homeless dude who helped her outside of Target, 
And she put it on TikTok and she raised like almost 200000 for him on GoFundMe. They in that bit. I would not give. I'm in that bit. I'll give him a nice little 50 ball. <laughs> <laughs> come on, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get him a little. Uh, get him, uh, come on, now. Get yeah. him a little, little eighteen pack. Yeah, a little, fifty ball, shout it. <laughs> two, yeah. two or three rocks. Yeah, yeah got to that. Two or three rocks. I mean, bless him right quick. What? I mean, come on, now. If he already home with two hundred bands, she, yeah, he, she really yeah. managing him. For real. <laughs> yeah, she is, man. She control it. She got it too. And she in college. She can pay off some student yeah. loans, like. But now nah, back to Keith Lido, nah. I, I agree That's what it ain't You know what I'm saying You can't do shit like that And you really blocking your blessings Because Keith Lee Gonna bring a lot of attention All That $4,000 Do not compare to the money That was gonna come on the back yeah, end Of he, just him vouching for you and it, right. You know what I'm saying They do it They go, it go off every time. That's she weird as fuck She had to turn her reviews off Say she closed yeah. down So people won't leave And I bet you finna get audited yeah. <laughs> That's crazy now we she on TikTok right, saying, y'all could come get the money. I don't know. But the girl don't want the money no more. It's too late. You show you Why would you do that? Yeah, you show you got no name. Why would Everybody. you do that? All right. You could at least you could at least say it's taking two to three business days. <laughs> she ain't that bit. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't like not even get them nothing. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, yeah. Okay, so the next one we have, so because we're podcasters, I think this one's cool. Mm-hmm. Recently, Charleston White walks off a podcast interview after they attempt to press him. Go Crazy Podcast sat down with White and began aggressively interviewing him. When White began to match their energy with sarcasm, they started talking over him and dismissing his responses. White then left and gave them their money back. Is this what it is or what it ain't? That's what it is. That's I fuck with Charles and White. Yeah. Yeah. I've been fucking with Charles and White when niggas were hating on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, 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 no. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been fucking back. with Charles and White when niggas didn't like Charles and White. Yeah. You feel me? Because yeah. I already seen what he was doing. I like I thoroughly did a bike round check on Dog and Dog really be doing yeah, shit. Yeah, he really in it. Yeah. He really in the community. He really, he really be at the, at the city council meetings fighting for us and shit. Yeah. We're fighting for the He really putting on. Yeah, he really doing shit. He started. You know, suit and tie, mm. trying to do it the right way, but niggas yeah, like they ignorant listening. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, man, that shit, yeah. that shit wasn't yeah. working, man. That's the nigga y'all gotta get on this bitch too. Yeah, no. yeah. Oh yeah. That's why I say them niggas fucking we it up for everybody. We, yeah. we, we want so Tarzan we'll White. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but he, but he really so see he niggas can't talk. Niggas can't mm-hmm. talk that. Sh- you just can't talk that shit. Because when he really doing this shit, he can bite this shit up. I yeah. tell you, you niggas saying just saying that shit. Oh yeah, I helped the community. Nah, this nigga got doing it. Yeah. He been doing this shit for years too. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So they can't fuck with him like, and that's why I fuck with that. Nigga. I, been, that I, knew it, I knew what his, <laughs> I knew what his angle was. I knew what he was trying to do, and I seen how he perfected this internet shit and. Mm-hmm. He went I ain't gonna lie, Cass. We was gonna do that to you, but you bought them boys, but you said you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can pray. I'm a whole, I'm a whole open book. You talking about everything, everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 No. What you mean you ain't do X? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Definitely, definitely not. Like, it, I mean, it is what it is that he walked off. But for mm. the podcast, it's like that's bad for business. Like, you know, this is they were, but they, they trying to go viral, yeah, which is that might be good for them. But it made them look corny though. Like it made them look corny, but at the end of the day, corny, corny viral, blowing up yeah, is viral. viral. You feel me? That's what they was looking Some for. Some people don't mind going viral for But you gotta yeah, think about mind. it. The interview with Charleston White would have went would have did way more for them. Yeah. If they shit actually but good, that shit did are, way but everybody more talking about it. Everybody not genuine, like y'all. Some of them have intentions to trigger someone. Yeah. To, so this nigga not even on the podcast. Right. We gonna be looking this way. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my little brother, Manny G, another one of my wins. He says some real shit. He says some real shit. But yeah. at the end of the day, like you got to realize that every we all right here sitting right here talking about that podcast. Mm-hmm. Right. You feel me? So it, it worked. It worked. Right. And I, I was like thinking. I was like, I don't want to. Say the name of the podcast. I don't want to get enough publicity. I don't even know who them niggas is. Yeah. I seen it. On, uh, I seen it, but I ain't even tap into it. I, I met you, know what you though. But that it I never it heard of them before. But yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna still say that's what it ain't. Just off the simple fact of yeah. how how we coming, how we coming or whatever. Pause and how we feel about shit. We just don't move like that. That <laughs> we, shit kind of green. City. Yeah, we rather <laughs> <laughs> we rather that shit just be a little bit more organic. And I feel like they really fucked up opportunity by doing that shit. Because yeah, yeah. another thing, Charleston White interviews them bitches do numbers like because yeah, he really be saying shit. And my thing is, it would be able. It would be Who the better fuck to is you your, niggas to be trying to check? Right, it would be better to show yeah. your journalism skills. Yeah, you know what I'm saying to get a nigga yeah. to, to get do the next some person viral shit. Yeah, for sure. Versus trying to press a nigga and then it was like the you way skills. y'all did it. Yeah. Y'all skills. Love. This nigga Charleston yeah. White, he know what the fuck he doing. You could just gotta let him go. Yeah, mm-hmm. like he ain't what y'all gotta think? Do all what y'all that. think Charleston White uh, best interview was? 
Uh, uh, Cam, Cam. Newton. There it is. Yeah, yeah Cam. Yeah. That shit was so real. That shit was yeah. good. That, that was shit was yeah, real, too. He, he put it on Cam Newton. Damn, boy. Pause. I got you. I got you. I got you. Appreciate it. That was an alley oop. Yeah, it was. To Lamar Odom. Yeah. Lamar Odom. You know Lamar Odom, boy. Yeah, he was nice. No, you know what he on now. Yeah, he on that rock. How you think Shannon Sharper do? He on something different, boy. What? Shannon Sharper. What you think he on? What you mean? That boy, that boy. That boy tried everything. I thought he was <laughs> No, that boy dating the whole full, that boy dating the whole full trans. Oh. oh. Lamar. Oh, nah, Lamar. Oh. Oh. All right. Nigga, Google it. That nigga on bombing fluid. <laughs> he a different ball player? Of, they do that in Texas for yeah, real. Yeah, I know. Dipping them sticks. They call it dipping mm. sticks. Damn, Lamar. Yeah, yeah, Lamar, man. Y'all boys, New York City, man. First you know? point for. Nah, but I was saying, I don't think, like, from seeing that Shannon Sharp and Cat Williams shit, like, I want to see Charleston White on that bit because I don't know if Shannon Sharp could keep up. Nah, nah, Char- he, Charleston White, Sharp is nice. Yeah, he got no, he got to do it. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. He got to hold do on. it. <laughs> skip, <laughs> skip. Come on, now, skip. <laughs> yeah, skip. <laughs> hey, hey, but skip. hey, listen though, he um that Cat Williams shit. Like I fuck with Cat too, but. A lot of that shit that nigga saying wasn't true though, bro. Like you know, I came in here and told these niggas that Cat <laughs> Williams do not run no fucking four two forty. Cat Williams do not that did not read three thousand books he by the time he was three. So he made it sound so believable. Yeah, I mean yeah. that bit. Yeah, Cat. Yeah, but you got to realize, other hey, than that, what was the truth? But he, he, yeah, the yeah, fucking Cedric Entertainment don't got no specials on Netflix. You can go right down Netflix, look it up, yeah. right there. He got a whole special on that bitch. What is Cedric do? <laughs> yeah, I fuck with Cedric. Yeah. 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 He might listen, man. He stole the nigga joke. Nigga still, nigga be still. Yeah. Yeah. That can't take. That ain't gonna take away from the man whole career though. The man, nigga do this shit, man. It is what it is though, nigga. You don't. No, you don't. Have you not ever been inspired by another nigga's rhymes? Stole right. my shit Have you ever been inspired <laughs> by another nigga's rhymes? How about that Rod Wave Boosty shit? Like, how you feel about that? Well, who? Rod Wave and Boosty. Like, he took the lyrics. Yeah, but he tried to pay Boosie. You feel me? Like, yeah, that's what I said. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was on Boosie's side till Boosie tried to. Uh, yeah, try to, shit. yeah, like, fuck this deal. Yeah, yeah, I was on his side till yeah. then. Come on, my nigga. It's name. like you ain't even made two mil off that, boo. You feel me? You <laughs> gotta chill. Be realistic. Yeah, you gotta chill. Yeah. Be realistic. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you can get paid. Shout out to boo. I thought Boosie was from Jacksonville when I was growing up. That nigga, oh, yeah, he was like, <laughs> a farm. I got a yeah. song. We got songs. I got like two or three songs of Boosie from way back in the day. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck oh. happened to them bitches. Yeah. yeah. But I definitely got everybody. I got definitely got songs that's out with Webby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got dope boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got dope boys. Webby. That shit went crazy in the city. And um. Put that iron on the remix, you know. Mm. So, yeah, shout out to Webby. Them niggas was in Jacksonville somewhere. You would have thought they was. From I thought the niggas was really from here. Yeah, yeah. But that's what they used to do before. Before I came, that's what Tallahassee was on. You know, they these niggas, the Miami niggas play their shit. Mm-hmm. Then whatever Palm they Beach niggas play their shit for Jacksonville, they used to play Boosie and Webby mm-hmm. until yeah. I came on the scene. Yeah, I definitely yeah, thought that straight up. From here. That's what I'm saying, like in a in a in a, in a Duval ride out, you gonna have Boosie, you gonna have Webby, you gonna have Young Cass, you gonna have Lil V. Yeah. I had some Trick and Trina You know what I'm saying Why you looking like that? Cause I was just listening to Trina earlier Oh I already know <laughs> Nah, we gonna have some. Kanye. I seen Levi on here. I seen that interview y'all did with Levi. Mm-hmm. That's my dog. I was oh, talking yeah. to him when he was. In, I guess he was hitting me from jail. Yeah, he, but yeah, I fuck with Levi. Yeah, he just was on yeah. two weeks ago. He do, yeah, came back he, and all. He, he paid the best fan now. Yeah, really. He he could just come. He he just be. Yeah, 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 he be on I'm, 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 I'm on there today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that nigga Levi. <laughs> he's so I, listen. I he's never, so funny though. I'm gonna be honest. With you, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I always keep it. I only know one song. That one song he got. Oh, so I was yeah. I was anxious. To see when, when he got out, oh. when, you know what I'm saying, to hear the new music. So he just dropped. I think he just. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. He dropped. He said he dropping a mixtape uh, or mixtape or album. I don't know, but um, this year coming up. Yeah, he. Yeah, I mean been, this month. We've been supposed to do something like I fuck with Cud. Like we, but we never just. I ain't. You know, so I've been going when he came home. I was. I've been in Atlanta, so but yeah. uh, we gonna link though, sure. He a real genuine nigga. Yeah, I fuck yeah, with yeah, Levi. Yeah. Like, we, like I said, I was talking to him the whole time he was in jail. I was like, boy, come on, boy, you only got such and such more. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, was, I was trying to keep his head right and shit. Cause he, I guess he had a phone in that bitch. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know how niggas yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a phone. When I was, I went through five phones when I was in the fed. So I, I know how. I almost just went fed. I was gonna say, yeah, ma. ma. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. Yeah. Like, you're like, damn, ma. No, that's when them country ass niggas got me in trouble. Yeah. 
Niggas yeah. called niggas called the prison and said the rapper Young Cash. Somebody I knew somebody from Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. They that called my hate. prison. And said the rapper, the rapper Young Cash got a cell phone <laughs> in there. <laughs> yeah, no, that phone shit get weird. You never seen the screenshot of the nigga in jail? He sent the picture to the wrong number, and the person was like, "Ooh, I'm telling." He talking about what would you? <laughs> would you gain for that? That's crazy. That's crazy. You got you got one more more. What we doing? That's it. Oh, that's it. So we All can right, get to we the getting the topics. Yo, you want me to start it off? Uh yeah. All right. Bet. So this is my topic. I feel like this was the perfect topic while we got young cash here, you know what I'm saying? So basically I wanna do the Mount Rushmore of Florida for artists. But or we could do like top five, because I don't know how many on Mount Rushmore. All time or like current artists? All time. All time. Um, five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Luke. Uncle Luke. Mm-hmm. JT Money. Trick Daddy. It's gonna get ugly. JT and Trick, he's interchangeable. Nah. Tr- trick is him. That's why I, I was raised on Trick. But it's JT him. JT was him. Mm-hmm. That was before so your you time, youngster. Ah, <laughs> youngster. Ah, yes, oh, youngster. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, JT, Trick. Damn. Fizzle. JT taught me let, how to let a hoe go. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Cause goddamn, yeah, it's hard. That shit hard. All right, for the sake of just, you know what I'm saying? Like, who went far? Cause even though JT Money was that nigga, he wasn't no international yeah. nigga. You feel me? He did pave the way. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna take him. Sorry, I love you, Uncle. But I'm a, I gotta go, Uncle Luke. Cause the Uncle Luke was like, he he broke mm-hmm. barriers and shit. He the one who the reason why you niggas can uh, say what you want to say on records. Mm-hmm. He went to the Supreme Court with that shit. Mm-hmm. Uncle Luke, I'm gonna go trick. Ross. Gotta have Ross. Uncle Luke, trick. Uh, Uncle Luke, trick, Ross. Pizzle, nigga. I gotta put Pizzante in there. You got to, but they gonna think you biased. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, and now you don't know what to do. <laughs> should I go Kodak or Plies? Kodak. You, Kodak. You gotta go. Yeah. For me, it's Plies, but Kodak. Yeah, for me, it's Plies. Plies the reason I started but writing rap. Kodak. Oh, Kodak. Kodak is, shit? That's the, Kodak. Yeah, because I gotta get one of them young. I gotta get. I, get I Kodak. always see. I gotta get one of them young niggas. Kodak was the first nigga I ever heard in the song. Just me personally mentioning the F Cat. That day alone, I feel like. It's just so that's so <laughs> thorough. Yeah, that's, that's just so yeah. thorough, yeah, bro. That's past my time. I was, I was yeah. already out of there. We got nah, to start doing this shit. I, I like that list. Six, <laughs> that's important. Bushes and shit. I nobody bushes, but Plies was that man. Yeah, Plies, but but mm-hmm. but he. I think Kodak pushed it a little further. Mm-hmm. As far See, as, uh, I feel like Plies. Like I remember. I love Plies. That's my the dog. The album came out. The realest album came out like that all black like I know all that album black. like the back yeah, of that my shit head mm. that shit was like it ain't no off me nigga. like that was bigger than Ply I mean then Kodak I Kodak was like after high school for me so that influence like I remember but sitting at the dining room table and writing a rap cause, yeah. cause I listened yeah. to Ply's whole Y'all album y'all remember his first three responses mm-hmm. boy um, They're interchangeable. You no, it's not. Rid of one of them. No, you can't. You can't get rid of Uncle Luke because he's set the t- He set the tone for the shit. Trick. You can't yeah, get rid of Trick. One? Ross. Yeah. But then you saying? Yeah, you can't. So you said it's, it's not interchangeable. Wrong. Yeah, it's not, you were wrong. wrong. Right. Wrong. So Finally. yeah, Luke, Finally Trick, <laughs> Luke, <laughs> Luke, Trick, Ross, Payne, and Kodak. All right, but Plies honorable. This nigga finna give me smoke about my list, but let me go. Okay, so I'm going Plies number one. Cause that nigga, that's the reason why. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Like I told you, I'm a big T Pain fan, so I'm gonna go T Pain mm-hmm. because I feel like it's a different sound. I, feel I mean, like, you t- talking about game changing shit, bro? Yeah, exactly. T Pain got to be so, on there. Yeah, I'm gonna go T Pain. That's why you got to have exactly. Luke on there. You can't have this because we won't even be have uncensored music if it wasn't yeah. for Luke, bro. But see, you see, and he had the hits. Age difference. So yeah, I ain't. That's what I'm right saying. Now. Like, yeah. I can go by. I can see. I can go from way back there to now. Yeah, I'm that nigga. Cause you Luke, feel me? definitely. Um, so then I'm gonna go Ross. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ross was a fat wavy Why nigga. Y'all keep Ross I'm not putting Ross in my shit. I can, but keep going. Go yeah, I, I, I can't wait. Yeah, I got here. Yeah, yeah. I feel the same way. Number four, I'm gonna go Kodak. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. You finna say this, some bullshit. This the one. He gonna be like, get the fuck out of here. But you gotta realize. You finna say city girl? Nah, hell no. Nah. Uh, you gotta realize. That's actually, that's actually a, a lot of people. A lot of people. City girl girl's not a good one at all. She don't. Yeah, oh, get the right. fuck out of here, bro. She don't. She I don't. Don't. She don't. She don't. I know he can't say you treat him. But no. no. Kaya. I'm putting Kaya in top five. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, sleep. Kaya got, listen. Bro, because come Kaya, on, bro. No. Nah. The, the reason That's I'm saying Kaya, a lot of people don't like to give Kaya flowers because what she into now. No, we give Kaya flowers. I'm a trim that. You would pick Kaya over Trina? If you're going to pick I her. would because Trina, Trina is too, like, girly for me. Like, I couldn't really get into that. Man, Trina, with like, niggas was listening to Trina, boy, niggas. Man, I, I can't really get into that. She'll be girly, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I guarantee you. I don't want no smoke sound, The nigga behind the camera said that. <laughs> oh, I don't want no smoke. When the nigga, listen. Some of you niggas, boy, you know, don't even try to lie, nigga. When that motherfucking nan nigga came on and that Trina Park came on, oh, no, no. Some of you Hold niggas on, are saying it with it. Hold on, now. Because I really stand so clean. <laughs> stand so clean. Can't wait with it. <laughs> you can't, hey, hold on. Watch this. Watch this. I'm, I'm going to tell you how I got mm-hmm. it. You can't name five Kaya songs. I can. Do it. Go ahead. K Wayne. Yep. Uh, jump on it with um yep, Trick Daddy. Uh, Don't trust no trust nigga. no nigga. That's three. That's it. My neck, my back. Okay, that's and it. And then uh, respect me. Oh, okay. I don't even know what respect me. Yeah, what's the you one that is? You gonna respect me? R S V V respect me. That was all on the same. Nah, I fuck with Kyle. But listen, that was all on the same album. All them songs. Probably. Okay, so then, <laughs> but it's so then like, some but, of her second album. But we can't do we that. Janet Jackson or her shit, though. But yeah, dude, and we can't do that that's because cool. look, I don't know look, if you knew that, that's like discrediting Lauryn Hill because she only got one album. But I'm okay, yeah, but it's a classic. Now, Lauryn Hill's a dog. It's, a, it's an international you know, classic. But I'm still okay with that. Though. So y'all telling me Kanye ain't got classic Florida records? That's she got classic Florida records. She got classic Florida records. But my worst was Florida. Oh yeah, but I'm just saying worldwide. Like if you, no, 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 no. He got a top five Florida record of all time. Oh, oh yeah. of course I do. Yeah, but I'm no, saying, no, no, no I'm talking definitely. about if you go, if you you can't put Trina against Kaya, bro. Trina no, no, will win no, no, every no. time. And we talking about the worst yeah, show personal. Is bigger. Yeah. But I'm it's talking about personal. Florida personal, I'm gonna put on Kaya. Oh, that, but it's always a personal list, so it's, yeah. it's whatever you want to win it with. Me wanna, she, but numbers wise, it's gonna get real to kill it. And Trina might be real. Hold on, turn this shit off, bro. This shit is Man, Trina was the first one on that shit. Yeah, no, most definitely. For my top five, I'm gonna go Kodak. Mm-hmm. So, so you, you, you a baby mm-hmm. Yeah Kodak. Putting Kodak as number Rod one Is crazy Wave. <laughs> Oh yeah see right, right. I love Rod Wave Rod Wave was that nigga Got Yeah um, T-Pain mm-hmm. Of yeah. course And Who's my last one Go ahead my youth <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it But y'all gonna be doing the most Who mm-hmm. It better not be Bob Greasy Paul Greasy is crazy. Y'all gonna do the most. Oh, but I want you, little Papa. I want you on the show too. Oh, that's <laughs> that's 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 um, I love that's July. listen. <laughs> I push for the Papa. I, I try to Papa. get the Papa deal. Mm. But um you saw your age though. Yeah, they weren't they weren't <laughs> they weren't fucking with the Papa swag, actually. No. Uh-huh. That's why when I took him to who I took him to, mm-hmm. the label. It was like they like a swag, and, and me and, and me, me and it was my, marketable. They think it was marketable. Me and my homeboy, his my homeboy is that's his people. My homeboy Ladon, and um he he we, you know we made the calls, did everything, brought the music. They was like we fuck with the music, but they didn't, it was like they didn't think he was marketable. Papa not extra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we went we went yeah, out east and told him me and his, me and his uh his cousin my nigga Ladon we went out we went out east and told him straight you know. So, but you know, that's something that can be changed, bro. Yeah. Like, especially when you get, especially when you get a bag. You see him now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel me? Swag you, just gotta to find, you gotta find your, you gotta find your niche. Yeah, yeah you want, yeah, he's yeah, swag the fuck out now. That's what I'm like. But you know, like the crackers, the, they. Uh, excuse me, I didn't mean to say that. No, you can say the that. The people. Oh, we said crackers. <laughs> oh, okay, what? We said crackers. The crackers ain't see it that way. It's the same way with T Pain. Like when I got my deal, bro, I took T Pain with me. You feel me? They didn't want. They didn't sign him. Universal did not sign him, and they signed me. Mm. Imagine so, that. That's a, that's a. I'm glad like you clearing that up because I'm gonna be honest. Like I always thought it was the other way around. I, nah. I thought T Pain pulled you. No, up. I mm-hmm. got it. They called Universal Records wanted to sign me. Mm-hmm. This is when Pain was staying with me in Jacksonville, and I said, "Hey, listen, I got this this kid with me." He like family with me He got a son called Sprung Y'all need to check it out Y'all might want to fly him out too Niggas ain't hear that And just be like Okay Yeah you That's kind of crazy Like who but the Nick, fuck is evaluating the talent Niggas don't do n- Niggas don't do that 
That's why they said. I mean, I seen so many on that post that Duval promo post. It's like who put the city on? Like I'm looking at niggas like who these these. The niggas, nigga what nigga would do that? One thing, one thing I learned. Check this out. Check this out. Well, let's be biased. Listen, listen yeah. though. Yeah. I ain't tripping on that. I'm just talking about the, the the type of individual. If niggas call y'all right now and they say, "Hey man, y'all podcast raw man," like mm-hmm. we want to sign y'all to a deal, mm-hmm. like and do y'all podcast. Is y'all niggas wait? Well, hold up. What's the shit over there called? Creeping through, through the, the streets. Creeping through the streets got some shit too. Y'all might want to yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's niggas how we ain't move. doing that, bro. Yeah, I just niggas did, ain't doing I just that. Did that on Twitter because they was trying to get. To yeah, get trying to get another nigga. nigga. That's cool, but when it comes to that real yeah, business, oh yeah, nah, yeah. yeah. And niggas, a lot of you, niggas not gonna do that. Niggas ain't gonna do that, yeah. dog. I'm that nigga that does that, though. I'm just telling you, and I ain't trying to be on no like. I'm I above know. niggas or whatever. I'm just yeah. saying that's the type of nigga I am. I've never did, bro. Even with my mm-hmm. deal with Universal, like they didn't understand that I didn't want to use because they no, they had me set up for Pharrell, Timberland. Guess what I did? I said, nah, I'm using my niggas from Duval. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who gonna know my sound? Which which fuck me, which potentially you know what I'm saying set my career by yeah, energy. Yeah. But yeah. I was trying to. You might have been in debt. Trying to be too real. I don't know if it's keeping it too real, but that's just how my heart is. Or you know what I'm saying? You was trying to pull niggas up. Yeah, I want to see my niggas win. You know before yeah. I see another nigga already that's winning, that but I don't know. You're winning in the end because you can sleep better at night. Like of course. That. Like, that's why I say I was a sacrificial lamb for the city, bro, because I could have did a lot of shit that Timberland I. Timberland probably would have some bullshit, too. No, nah, nigga, because I went by Timberland. <laughs> I went by Timberland. <laughs> I went by Timberland, bro, and that nigga had some shit. You know he got some shit. But he you want to realize niggas. though, you know yeah, Timberland was back in the day. Yeah, yeah back in the day. Guess yeah. how much Timberland went for a beat though back in the day, nigga, a hundred thousand. Mm. You know my budget, my budget alone was four fifty. You think about fifty thousand? Like, no, no, I'm just, I was just fucking off. But no, like, no, I'm just saying, a hundred thousand for a beat from Timberland. But yeah. Timberland was that nigga though. Wait, and he still is. We don't want smart Timberland. Oh yeah, show fire. Ross for show. Come on. Uh. Ross number one? No, nah, it's no order. It was no order, man, either. Yeah, no order. Well, no, I did go in order. I went in order. I went in order. Yeah. yeah I did Ross, go in order. I'm going to say Kodak. Um, That's what's up already. I'm a little... I ain't going to hold you. He really not don't belong on this shit, for, but just for me, I got I got to say Golden Boy, bro. Oh, I got to say yeah. Golden Boy. Yeah, nah, and I'm, I'm going to show you why you're wrong <laughs> at the end of it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I got to say Golden Boy. Crazy. I got to say Golden Boy. But it's like, your list, though. It's yeah, what you yeah, like. I got to say him, right? <laughs> He just authentic to me. Um, I say ride wave too, just because it's a different. It's a, it's and a guess what? When you see and when you see that Rushmore up there, you are gonna see Trick Daddy now. They're looking at this like this. No, you gotta, you gotta, yeah. you gotta have, nigga. you gotta have. I trick feel bad. I left Trick out, but. But like you yeah. gotta have Trick, trick Daddy, bro. So Come on, my nigga. You can put Golden Boy over Trick Daddy. No, 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 no. no. Yes, I, I'm, I'm not putting Trick on there. I, put like I don't. So you put yeah, Golden yeah. Boy over so Trick. It's not. It's not that he over there. It's not even over there. If I'm if I'm gonna be the nigga who gon who I'm establishing it's this shit, shit and I'm carving this shit out <laughs> for me, I'm gonna have Golden Boy up there, just in a short amount of time. Wow. Over Trick though. I'm just saying like wow. three years in. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga ain't got no major hit. No internet. He had no. That don't matter because really. I bet you if you go to a basketball game or a football game. So 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 listen. So Rushmore, listen, hold up, John and that hold up, because I feel like is this we we, we, we consider this journalism? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So as so like just way. trick in general, of course. Like if don't we listen. having a real list, say if it's like okay, just like objective, like no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like if it's, <laughs> if it's objective, get it your bag. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get to the journalism <laughs> <right> now. <laughs> if, if it's objective, you gotta have you gotta have Luke, but I'm not gonna have Luke on mine. Yeah, that's, 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 that's your personal. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Yeah. You still yeah. can't. But see, that's why you young niggas. No, but you try to erase it. No, I but you want that. But hold on, you young niggas keep trying, and I'm doing a bunch of young motherfuckers. The young motherfuckers trying. To erase the history of what's really going down, you can't do that shit. <laughs> but, fuck history. But we appreciate Luke. Yeah, yeah you got to, say, bro. We no. appreciate Trick Daddy. You different. That's what I'm saying. Man, no, like, we Trick know Luke music, though. Yeah, like, we, we know, know Luke I'm, 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 I'm walking out of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, we back. This <laughs> <laughs> all y'all, Chris, man. Yeah, we back, man. Yeah, new team. Me and Cash is slap boxing, and we had. To- <laughs> 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 but, uh, I, uh, I ain't going there, but K three came back crying. Yeah. So. <laughs> No, nah, my shirt was a little wrinkled. I had to iron my shit up. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, so Mount Rushmore. So yeah, Ross. Um, Come on, yeah, with it now. Yeah, I'm keeping right. Golden on there. I'm gonna say Plies. That's crazy. Plies batted batted a thousand in my career. Um, I fuck with Plies. I feel like the last one, just by it got. I can't really think about it. It's got to be Trick, I guess. So Golden Boy over T Pain. Golden Boy. Oh, I forgot about T Pain. T Pain over Trick. Okay. I I ain't gonna hold you like. 
Trina played in my house more than Trick. That's just off yeah. top. Yeah. And I fuck with Trick like third holiday certain songs like we're going mm-hmm. emotion out of nigga, but like just personally like mm-hmm. no. I got I gotta say that. I can't I gotta This do is that. a real generational gap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a real just like that when they gotta do all shit. Now I got to do this. For cause I if I don't do this, I don't feel like it'll be right. I got to know the Rushmore Duval. Oh. Tell me what your Rushmore oh, let Duval is. Let me go first. Let me go we, first. Uh, this this is where the age barrier let comes me go in. First. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna be in my age. Big time. My Rushmore Duval. Damn, I'm gonna go. Damn, tough. this bit kind of hard. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you a lot of shit. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give you a lot of information on this too. Now I'm gonna go. Flow rider, really the motherfucking dog got the bitch and pit bull. See a drunk man speaks a drunk a, dr- <laughs> yeah. with a, a drunk man speaking <laughs> with a drunken tongue. <laughs> Right we don't do all. Well. Yeah, we don't do well right now. <laughs> a drunk man speaking the drunkest tongue. Duval, for me, y'all know. So for number one, hold up, hold up. Well, before we do this, what, what, Damn. what do y'all, what do y'all basing it on? Real quick, real quick, say, real quick, real quick, real yeah, quick. Just give me the basic. Hold on, real quick. Going and boy kind of crazy. I'm going to throw a bird on there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw iceberg on there. That's, like, but you see how that. I feel like. Feels you see how that's fucking with him by his, mm-hmm. his list? Because I had to fucking with him. He keep coming back too. I had to back because I fuck with gunplay too. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say bird. I feel like. Mount Rushmore, it, 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 it's, it's like what influenced you, like what you listen so to. Your, so is it you personally? I'm saying I'm yeah. not even I'm not so, saying that. I'm saying it as a whole. Like say you a journalist for CNN, um, and so we gotta talk so, just okay. objectively. I'm not so, talking about you so just let's, let's like that's, that. and that's the reason what separated okay. me from a lot of these niggas in Jacksonville because I never wanted to be the best in Jacksonville. I wanted to be the best in the world. That's what separated me from niggas. But you said Duval Mount Rushmore. But Duval Rushmore, okay. go ahead. So, let's do an objective go off. Objectively, yeah, objective one. Let's go one. one up. Objectively, all right, we gotta put cans first. Nah, I, I wouldn't say I, that, but I feel yeah. like I feel like that, like from the hits in the club, yeah, sure. because a lot of Duval artists back then, they had like one or two hits, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying. Name them. So you can say like that rose in the concrete. What was that song? Jug. Hold on. Hold on. Or, okay. okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Personally, then Jug would be I'm gonna go after Cash. I'm gonna go Trap. You know what I'm saying? Trap, trap back trap Yeah. Who start? Who started? Just side note. Who started Trap career? I, I don't know. So fine. So what's trap? What's trap first song? Like, See, I didn't listen to Young Trap. Uh, you don't know trap first song they got him popping. That's in Jacksonville. I don't know. I don't know. It's for, I don't want to say top of the line. line. Okay, Shorty top of the line. Top yeah, yeah. Who did? Who's on top of the line? She a five star bitch like got to see. Who's on top of the line? Shot is so fine. Uh uh uh. Let me go and it blows my mind. Yeah, top of the line. Come on, man. Oh shit! Okay, me. You that's, about come on, man. that's, that's me second. on the hook. Nigga. That's, why, that's why I put trap second. I'm just y'all, saying, y'all gotta realize when yeah, when y'all was popping, I was in middle school. So yeah. I'm going to these parties, and it's like they gonna play Young Cash, they gonna play Chop Chop, they gonna play Tokyo Jets. Mm-hmm. That's playing Tokyo saying. Jets back then. Yeah. No. no that right watch me oh. Oh. Yeah, Jets watch me tour. Oh, I'm gonna do my what, thing. When the tour come out? Um, when that came out? That was around Chop. That was Chop there. That shit, man. That wasn't. That wasn't the organic one. I'm saying no, when, hey. Tokyo mm-hmm. Jess wasn't That's out hate. when me and Trap was out when me and Trap was doing our No, she had a song with the Lord, Lord knows. I can't stand these hoes. So that's like, way back. For man. us middle schoolers, I'm yeah. but that's what I'm Okay, talking, I mean, I'm talking I'm talking I might be a wave. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't remember her being around yeah. when me and Trap was around. Right, let's let's, let's she make it Hold on, hold on. Then number four, I gotta go Lil V for me. You know what I'm saying? Lil V. It could be a floater. What else you know? Oh, alphabetical <laughs> order. How I go? <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know all the words, but no, no, no. I'm saying, let's be real. Let's keep real. And I love Levi. That's my nigga. Y'all acting like Levy, we got Levi got a hit record. But like Timberland beat and that bitch go pick it via Florida. That's not known. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. hard. That's yeah. hard. That's yeah. hard. That's yeah. hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. One of the hardest yeah. records ever came out of this bitch. Yeah. yeah. One of the mm-hmm. best. Songs That's why he got to be on there. Yeah. But can what? But if you talking about Mount Rock Mushroom, it's got to be more than one song. But I think it's T Rome would be on there before the beat. Okay, I forgot. I forgot about T Rome. But that's what I'm saying. Like who stapled? Like let's be real, Duval artists. Like I don't feel like nobody ever made it. Like T Pain status. Nobody did. No, nobody did. Okay, but I'm gonna give y'all my list. I'm gonna go Young Cash for sure because I used to like listen to him when I was younger. And then I'm gonna do Lil Papa. No, because I used to listen like she. Yeah. Okay, Lil Papa. 
Mm-hmm. I'm also Lepopo probably dog. if we talk about Duval mm-hmm. Mount Rushmore, Nardo Wick, you know, I feel like biggest, it used to be Lil V. Mm-hmm. And then Best, biggest Chameleon. I like uh, Camille. Camille is She's a dog. Yeah. You just me. trying to have these people on the show. Even though me, me, me and her don't see eye to eye, I don't know why. It's on her behalf, not mine. But I still love her. Oh, but okay. She is the one of the most talented people yeah, that I ever yeah, we been talked around. About, we talked about her um, all, what, a couple episodes ago. Yeah, yeah, in all aspects. And Brian, this one, this I ain't never said my number five. On record. Camille, 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 Camille. Camille. That's my dog. I don't know what happened. Yeah. She, like, I don't know what level me and her, but that's a lot of shit, but... As far as me, I don't got no, I don't got no animosity. And her, my restaurant was she's, before, she's right? the most talented person in I'm Jacksonville. Doing, I'm probably. Me, she like you. She can she's a fe- yeah, she a female version of me. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that she what that, have, she her own entity. Yeah, was your five? Yeah, yeah. What's your five? I'm gonna get my five. Me personally, I'm gonna say I gotta say Cash because coming up, you was the only like I said, you was the only like local nigga that's from Jacksonville that I actually mm-hmm. listened to until I until it got to like more recent times. Yeah. Like the only yeah, person. Sure. Like only person. Um so it's gonna be you for me, I'ma say that took a long time. D Lo D Lo for sure for me. Who is D Lo? Hell no. No, not not D Lo oh, not this D Lo. I'm, I'm talking yeah. about Skip Skeet Ski, 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 McFleur. Yeah. Oh, that nigga oh. turned up. Yeah. Skeet for me. Oh. For me, Skeet. Oh, yeah. I'm talking to come to the pot too. We talking about Duval County. We talking about the no, Rushmore. She, no, no. <laughs> his, name, his, name, his real name is D-Lo. <laughs> yeah. He it was D-Lo. You know what I'm talking about? You talking about Skeet McFleur. Who you saying? Who you saying? Raw as fuck. I'm not saying. I'm talking about the Rushmore. You heard what he said? We talking about the Rushmore. I wasn't having D-Lo on there. I feel like. No, Skeet McFleur. No, you used to be D-Lo. Who you telling? But I'm talking about like who you telling? Let the man yeah. finish. Go ahead. But yeah, like okay. I was listening to his tapes and all. Like that nigga really was raw. Fat John started son, like really raw. So Fat I fuck with him. Son, yeah. yeah, I fuck with D-Lo. D-Lo for me. D-Lo up there for me. Like I don't give a fuck. Like like catalog, catalog. Yeah, he raw. Like I fuck with D-Lo. Um, it ain't really too many for me. I'm gonna say it's just the niggas I like. I gotta say Jug. I that's fuck with Jug coming up. Jug. Yeah, I fuck with Jug. Um. I really can't think of too many more niggas. Like, I'm really, it's kind of hard. It's certain, it's certain niggas that I can say who like when you got I was young like, and age, Fulio, really Soldier K. I don't listen well, to all these niggas. Yeah, y'all don't listen. We just, we just, <laughs> not, we just missed that generation. I'm, no, I'm gonna right. say this: the reason why I don't listen to them niggas because I feel like the artistry don't really be there for a lot of them niggas. Like, I, I, I like, agree. like, like I young Ace, young Ace raw to me, but mm-hmm. I feel like it's like four or five other niggas who make the same type of music as his that's better. But I think he raw though. I do like Fool- one of Fulio songs. I think I think young I think young and Ace, I, I think the the way he his, his melodies and shit on record, even though like whatever he's saying, y'all might not like or people might not agree with without you know all that drill shit. But his melodies, how he put them just together, he he yeah. know what he doing. Out of them young nigga niggas, he's the most real. talented to me. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's why I feel he's like he's the most too. talented. To I, me. Ain't, I, I ain't gonna lie. If you talking rapping, Lil Papa the best. If you talking rapping, it's Lil Papa. If I'm talking song making, but making songs, that's young and Ace. I'm talking song making. I like Not a Wit better. Fuck, he more not a wig is rap. not a, not a wig caught a wave and he and he not just, a wig raw yeah. but if nigga got to change the beat every time you get on that bit it's not that no but I'm just saying he more he's doing style. it he got the biggest wave cause yeah. I, I love not, I love not a wig what he got going really on I like I, but I do like not a wig I don't want to get him mistaken but like you know what I'm saying nah. damn that's kind of hard What's like that? oh I get you my I throw said on there too because y'all got to realize I come from an era where. Like I don't give a fuck about none of this new internet shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I go by niggas who song like was niggas songs even playing in the club ever. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, I never heard these niggas in the club. I was, I was named a club artist. I said, say, I, I never said, heard these niggas said, in the club. No, a lot of these yeah. niggas. No, I said, I, said, I, said, I, I never said, heard you trap Tokyo. And yeah, you playing club? Yeah, I'm playing club yeah. people because That's the masses. That's the masses. Y'all just don't like him? I don't wow. know. I don't know. <laughs> Why K. Osiris? I don't know who it's, got it. It's like Listen. Two, Why K. Osiris for me got two great records. Two oh, the great word, records. That word. I would give Listen, you the yeah. word. Let me tell you something about it. Let me tell you something about Y.K. Osiris. Mm-hmm. Osiris. And he raw. Whether y'all like work it, worth it or not. You gonna, come, take, come sit down right here uh, and take over the podcast. because you. <laughs> that's what we just saw. <laughs> like, that's, that's really like that's what it. I'm saying though. Y.K. Osiris. The nigga who signed YK Osiris, his name is A.E. Mm-hmm. He was the head A&R at Dev Jam. Mm-hmm. A- A.E. is the same nigga who came to my studio back in the day when he was in a group called The A's from Oakland. The what? The oh, A's. A's. The A's. Okay, okay. 
It was three. It was three young nigga, three young whatever he is. He looked some Asian or Polynesian, or whatever he is. Mm-hmm. It was three million years. Look just Oakland, like him, like Oakland A's. Okay, from Oakland, Bay Area, mm-hmm. real Bay Area. The label they were signed to, I think, it was um I can't remember what it was, but they sent them to Jacksonville to work with me and M G Z. So I helped them write records. Jeezy Artist was doing beats, yeah. And this one I was signed with Universal, right? Mm-hmm. I'm helping them write records. Jeezy doing beats for them. We did their whole album mm-hmm. in like fucking a month or so. Right? Niggas was staying at my house, all type of shit. So, years later. Came back and paid it for it. AE ended up being the A&R at Universal. He hit me up on Instagram, right? He was like, Cash, I'm the A&R Def Jam. I'm like, nigga, what? Yeah, right. I didn't even believe the nigga. Damn. Because I know you was being a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mm-hmm. know you was he done evolved into this A&R no, okay, Def Jam, no, right? Exactly. So, he said, hey, I want to come sign an artist out of Jacksonville. Who should I sign? Now, keep in mind now. At the time, I'm fucking with the West Side as my artist. Mm-hmm. She wrong. Yeah. Yeah, she wrong. I she took the West Side, nigga. That's why I say I'm, I'm the king of skip the game, nigga. I ain't trying to go through all that get high and get your Instagram numbers up and all that shit. Nah, mm-hmm. I took I took the West Side straight to fucking Atlantic Records. Mm-hmm. She froze up. Damn. She just froze up. She'll tell you. Mm-hmm. I got it on tape. Mm-hmm. There was like, like she was like, he was like, what do you see yourself in five? You know what I'm saying? All this. And she was just like, um. Like she just froze, bro. Yes, yeah. That's but, the part of the game that people don't really think about. Yeah, I got uh-huh. the shit on a little video, but what I'm saying is, I think she ready, ready now though. Yeah, yeah. If I, yeah. I think I took her now, sometimes she, she, she put some, that dog she in. She, she, already got, I think noise, she signed with yeah. somebody though. She was ready then. She, just she, she was ready then. She had the music. She, she had the talent. Like, was always been there. I'm just saying that they wanted to see that. Like, I, went, I actually went to New York with them. He if you like, look at these niggas, if you look at these niggas, like when they got signed, like some of these niggas, I got when they went to New York, these these major labels, shit, man, that nigga, like the best one I ever seen was your boy, uh, what's the nigga, Bobby Smurf. I knew you should have said that. That nigga you feel me? <laughs> that nigga was jumping out of the table. And I'm telling but I told Lewis, I like, man, you I said you if you were to think back and you would have seen what that nigga did, like they they motivated him. Mm-hmm. Like she was just sitting there like this, like, like she was scared. Mm-hmm. That was the first time, look, you gotta keep in mind, it was the first time I ever been in New York. Uh, first time I ever flying. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of firsts. It was a lot of firsts for us. So she was nervous, and I understand that she was young too. So, but I think now she's ready. I think she signed with somebody now, though. But and it's a good thing that that ain't make her stop. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, but so, but yeah, let, but let, but, but let me tell you how this all correlates. So this was my artist at the time, Lil West Side. I could have easily said, "Ae, sign my artist." Mm-hmm. But I'm not. I'm just a real nigga, bro. Yeah. This one. This was when Osiris had that one record out. What was the first one? I don't work. No, hell nah. <laughs> Yeah, niggas ain't gonna know you. You remember that? But he talk, but he, he tough though. He talented. Yeah, he yeah, talented. Nah, but talented. what I'm saying you know, is, you know? I could have told AE to sign my artist. He mm-hmm. asked me, "What should I do, Cash?" Mm-hmm. I could have just said, "Yeah, sign my artist." But I couldn't in my heart. I wouldn't have been real if I would have said because Osiris had the wave. He mm-hmm. had all the follows. He had a song popping in his. I said, man, sign So I said, and this is where a lot of shit get mixed up because I guess his daddy heard the story that I told uh, him, uh, AE. Mm-hmm. And I, this is exactly what I said. I said, he's not no Chris Brown, mm-hmm. but he know how to make records. He got it. He can sing good enough. He know how to make records and he can blow. He's, he yeah. got he got it. He's like, he, you know, he's like got that it factor. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. They tried to switch and say, oh, I said he he was trash. He wasn't he wasn't nowhere near. Chris. Nah, ain't what I said. I said he's not a Chris. He don't sing like Chris Brown. Good as Chris Brown. All the trolling aside and bullshit aside, he talented. Yeah, yeah. That nigga went he to got the talent. Wind. That nigga went to the Wayne Studio with Jeezy. Yeah, he can't. Else, he got worth it. With Jeezy, with, with, with me and Lando wrote the hook for worth cash, it. Cash, and that's how worth it came out. Mm. Hey, shout out to you. You ain't got to say it. You ain't got to say it. I'll yeah, say it. Me and, yeah, me, and, <laughs> me, and Lando, me, and Lando, me and my dog, Orlando, one of my producers, wrote the hook for worth it. But at the end of the day, like I'm saying, like, people, I've never even, people don't know this shit. So mm-hmm. that, that, like, who, who tried to help people get on? Nigga. I did trap first song, put him on in the city. Mm-hmm. Without you. You advise our bitch like God and say anything. Hey, when Def Jam called me. To say they want to sign somebody in Jacksonville, I could have gave up Manny. Mm-hmm. I could have gave him uh, Lil Westside. He did. He did I said the hottest nigga in the city right now. You got to go. Mm-hmm. You got to sign YK Osiris. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I'm just the type of nigga I am, bro. And they gave him T Rome. When T Rome was hot, mm-hmm. I made the call to my management, Mike Blumstein, to hook that deal up that he did with Cash Money. Google Never Mike Blumstein. Huh? I said I said Google Mike Blumstein. Yeah. Mike Blumstein is who I got young Mike Blumstein is who I got uh Soldier K signed to right mm-hmm. now. Okay. You feel yeah. me? 
So I've been doing this shit, bro. I've been doing shit for the city. Yeah, you these feel are names you need to know. See, Roman end up on the Cash Money compilation album. I think. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. But no, this is real shit, bro. Like I don't even tell niggas this type of shit because I didn't. I didn't do it to get the record. I'm doing it trying to get niggas on for real. Now yeah, that's right. Real. You know what I'm saying? T. Rone is my nigga. Lil West Side Martyr, and I, like I said, I didn't do that with her with uh, AE with Def Jam. But I still took her. I gave her. I took her to Atlantic, yeah. and she had an opportunity to present her music in front of these motherfuckers. Ron Stu, another one of my guys. And they was like, Cat, I thought you said she was a star. I said, bro, she just like, it's a lot of first time. Like, you yeah. said, it's a lot of first time shit for her, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? She yeah. was just stiff. She is a star. Yeah, but she a star, though. I think, like I said, I think she signed for somebody Her from New music York. is really fucking good. Yeah, really good, star, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she been a star. It's time. You, you got to be, a, be able to turn that shit on she and a dog. off. She a dog. Have yeah. you ever she taken a hit for that? Like, somebody feeling like they deserved it, and, 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 you, get, and you pass the ball yeah. to somebody else? Nah, my biggest headache right now is Soldier K. That nigga's the what? <laughs> <laughs> I love that nigga the devil. But he know I love him too, cause boy, I, a lot of niggas I would have been like the niggas in bed. Like fuck this shit, you know what I'm saying? But I love that little nigga, man. For some reason, I don't know why, but I'm sticking with him. He gonna make, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna pop, but he just got to get his. Uh, he just got to get his mind right. Like he got to, he got to focus on on one thing, cause a lot of these niggas, man, they be trying to. Prove that they're street niggas so bad yeah. that they they miss they miss the they miss the especially our artists yeah like these mm-hmm. days Jacksonville they y'all missing the whole point that this is the entertainment business mm-hmm. you feel yeah. me yeah it's the music business the entertainment business you feel me yeah, I'm trying lot, to get that a lot of this uh, shit that's gonna make you successful is what we would consider green yeah so you kind of gotta get yeah over and they that don't shit. and they don't yeah yeah you gotta get over that shit yeah you gotta get over that shit green yeah this green. shit green green but guess what but you know what else is green it's not green. But it's not green. Right. Yeah. yeah. But you said some shit there. Because of what it be is, bro, niggas be so used to their environment and don't realize that that shit don't equal up to success, bro. You being a real nigga all day do not matter. Yeah, like I told you, know him, but he did, he did one thing that I told He did follow one direction that I told him. I said, dog, you got to separate yourself from all that beef shit. Mm-hmm. Separate yourself from all that shit. Because for one, nigga, you don't want to, you don't want that boy to come. Mm-hmm. You don't want to get polar. And I'm talking Rico. Yeah, you don't want that boy. You don't want to get mixed up in that shit yeah, again. Facts. You feel me? Like separate your shit from separate yourself from that shit. Because at the end of the day, if you're doing drill that that drill music shit, that's all y'all gonna be known for. So when that wave leave, then it's what you over. got? Yeah. That's why you got no versatility. Got all them niggas who was hot yeah. in 2012 or like 15 mm-hmm. off that cheeky shit. A lot of them niggas ain't making out of that shit because that's yeah. all they was talking that's about. All, that's all they do. Chicago shit though. Yeah. Who was hot in Florida 2012 to 2015? We I don't know. Some, all, I'm, all I'm saying we is, had some real music. nah, we had some little the shit. Drill bro. Shit just yeah. recently yeah. in Florida came like it wasn't like, drill back then, but it was definitely beefing on wax. Like that was going on for sure, for sure. But around that time, yeah, yeah. I like this topic, but we do need to get to the next one. Yes, man. Yes, oh, man. I never get to say my five. Let me say my five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My five is through the player, mm-hmm. and I go in chronological order. Through the player, you did it. Young Cash, I'm talking me. T Rome. Cause we talk about niggas who got deals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash was the first nigga. Through the player. A rapper. Yeah. yeah. Street deal. street nigga. Me, T Rome, Young Trap. And then I'm going to go Nardo Wick over all the young all the, all the young niggas. Yeah, that's how I feel. Well, I wouldn't admit to it or not. Yeah. I mean, you can't hate on a nigga who really did what they did. That Nardo right. shit just, he just, no, he just on another the level. Biggest artist that Jacksonville. Shit. Yeah, yeah biggest rap shit. artist. Well, other than like trap birthday bitch. No, I'm just saying, but three of the players, they got I think they like twenty five no, no, million records in. Uh, you know, they got they got extra And and there. another 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 slept on nigga is J Dash. J Dash got that? is J Dash what well, he like three times platinum, bro. Niggas yeah, don't right. even know. J Dash went you know, J Dash went wop, gold by wop, itself. Wop, wop, mm-hmm. wop. I feel like oh, we, uh, J Dash yeah. went gold by itself. I forgot about him. So listen, this nigga about, listen, um, this bro, nigga's what's who? his name? Um what you know about that? Dirty. No, I'm talking about. So, you talking about, uh, uh so, baby, 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 yeah, yeah niggas, no, niggas, no, no, no. Baby Soul is the first nigga I knew from Blue Bar with a Boosie. He got in trouble. With a Boosie yeah. feature. So I felt like he was shit. Yeah, we had Boosie features way back in the day. That shit ain't nothing. Dash went gold. J Dash is three times. I forgot about J Dash. Okay, I'm going crazy. I'm tuning it. I'm going to tune it back in. Go ahead. And we need to tune it back in. And we need to tune it back in. And that's why they need you on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we got you there. Bring it back in, baby. The next topic we got is, and I want to ask you because you've been in the industry. Okay, so. 
Um, how do you deal with situationships or balancing relationships in this industry? You got to fuck with somebody that's um that know what's up. Cause these bitches gonna be around, ain't nothing you can do that do about that shit. When I we, told you, baby, it's nothing I could do about yeah. it. <laughs> when, you go, when, you, when we go to this show tonight, it's gonna be 30, 40 hoes trying to get bike stage to do whatever to get bike stage, and I can have my way with the, with their bodies. I can do what I want with their bodies, and I love it. <laughs> you feel me? And it's like that in every city. Where the show at? I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm saying I used to be a wild. Listen, uh, I'm, I'm, you I'm gonna get see, see y'all, y'all age, when I was y'all age, I used uh-huh. to be a wild. Te- well, I was a wild maniac. Wild man, no. Mm. I'm talking about nigga. I'm hitting holes on the side of the bus, the side of the building, <laughs> in the bathroom, behind the stage. On the side of the building. All on the side of the building, <laughs> nigga. On the bus, by the bus, on the side of the bus, and they car. Every city, I'm like, doing where, this. Where you gotta you realize. From? You gotta realize when I'm where gonna, you got my, the build on from at that juvenile. When uh when when I when I one of my first tour, two thousand and I think it was two thousand nine. I had just got indicted by the Fed. I was my my life was all up in shambles, but the crackers let me go on the tour. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just had to report to I was because I was on federal bond. I mean I was on federal uh I was on pretrial. You know the shit you just mm-hmm. going through when you fight in the case before you go to before prison. You yeah, so they let me go on the tour as long as I report to where what city every city I had to report. You know what I'm saying? Where I was at and shit. Bro, imagine a young dude on and I was always caked up as a young because I was in the streets heavy. And that's another difference between me and these young niggas. Them niggas ain't have no money. None of these niggas. <laughs> nigga, I was had nigga, I had moolah. Niggas you feel crash me? dummies. Yes, sir. What? Come on, man. Them niggas they, they might be doing all this kit, but nigga, I was about money. I was a young nigga with a whole gang of that shit. So nigga, you imagine a young Duval nigga on the road and these hoes going and you just had these hoes going crazy? Yeah. This when T Pain was at his peak now. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, do, imagine do, do, peak T Pain. Come on, this shit was so, so are easy. Are any of these industry niggas faithful? Like, do, like just based off what you're saying, because you know, all of these people, even if they have relationships, like even J. Cole got you, a wife. You always making it. I just hot. feel like when you, I feel like when you when you when you rich like and famous like that, you can have your way if you really wanted to. Do you know, because I, I seen I seen them behind the uh, music like T Pain. To avoid conflict in his relationship, he introduced like threesomes into his. No, life. but he she but sits down with that though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sits with it, so at, at, that's just lucking up. But I'm saying if you a nigga right. with bread, bro, like you pretty much mm-hmm. look. If you ain't down with this baby, what I got going on, how last type shit? Right. Or that's what I'm trying to understand. So men with money, just because you have money and the ability to, are there men out there that want to of, be monogamous? Of course, and will. Of course it is. Like it's niggas. Like, I mean, I just keep fucking with lame. I'm saying I'm when you get <laughs> when you know, <laughs> no listen when you done been around the world like a nigga like me and niggas in the industry, bro. Like that yeah. shit get old. Like then you do want to set it out with one and just chill. So about your age, they ready to just chill. It could be early in that. It just depends on where you at in your life. Like I don't, yeah. I don't did. I've been doing this shit since 18, 19. Fucking off, fucking off. You know what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've mean, been a dog. So you married. No, nah, I'm not married at all. Chilling? Yeah, I'm single. I'm chilling. But <laughs> what I'm saying is this: either you you can you can get in your mind that you're gonna do what you want to do, mm-hmm. or you can just be like, okay, I'm gonna settle down with somebody. And you got the power to do that because money is power. You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. And motherfuckers want to be a part of that shit. I feel like we learning that because like I'm going through a process as we going up with this. It's like everything a problem. <laughs> a bitch look at you too long while she on the pod. Oh, you Don't fucking. Her. Uh, 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 being yeah, there. That mocha shit get so wicked. A bitch is, I mean, not a bitch. A woman decide they want to smell your feet. That's a problem. Like, <laughs> everything <laughs> a problem, bro. So it's like, yeah, I'm at a like, place bro. right now where I'm standing on business. Like, I got out of a toxic relationship last year because I knew I wanted to do this shit. And that shit wasn't going to work if I would have stayed in that relationship. Yeah. So I'm not dealing with no. You no ain't got bullshit. to, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you don't have to. Important. I'm going to tell y'all something, too, while y'all young, too, dog. Anything that you don't feel like ain't right, fuck that shit, bro. Because mm-hmm. you end up being like, I, I was stuck in a relationship 10 years or some shit I didn't even want to be a part of. Mm-hmm. Just in spite of my kids. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I ain't want to even be in that shit. But I was doing that shit because I just trying yeah. to do the right, do the yeah. right fuck all that Family nigga dynamic. that shit ain't mm-hmm. you don't feel that shit ain't right if it don't feel right fuck. it ain't right thing yeah, so you I heard him say, all you hoes that <laughs> dog, man. I say, as a woman when it comes to situationships I'm not into that like I'm kind of maturing to the point where like Cal- are you are you monogamous right. are you monogamous though when you in a relationship yeah when I'm in a relationship okay, ma- sure. uh, okay. so when you see other niggas if I'm in a relationship, I got eyes for that person. That's it. Nah, she a real sick all like that. No, no, real sick no, like that. no, no. I, and I don't believe it. It's you know, real, I don't no, believe no, it's it. bad. Listen, what I'm saying though. So you're not attracted to no other nigga? When I'm in a relationship, bro, 
I'm delusional. I'm just with that person. I swear, like. I'm so bad. who's your favorite? Who's your favorite artist that you be like, damn, that nigga can get hey, it. Rob Four Nine fine as fuck. Okay, so when you in a relationship and you see Rob Four Nine, you you, you don't I'm see him. I wasn't in that situation. No, no I'm asking, asking you. He come on the show. I'm asking, asking if I can notice attraction. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, so when attractive. you think attractive, what do you? Th- what, but I'm not thinking I'm gonna do anything. I see. I didn't even say that, but you went to that. But I'm, asking, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not you, doing anything. Yeah, you feel me? Let me you know what it is. So you see a man and you you just attracted to him? No. It, okay. Like if you're asking, I'm saying you're in a relationship. Say me and you're in a relationship. You see Rod for nine. What goes on in your mind? He cute. That's it. That's it. He what's cute? cute? What's cute? Uh, what What does that mean? I, he he cute. guess what? When I see when I see. No. No. Listen. No. no, listen what I'm saying. I'm saying both of y'all niggas. When y'all, if y'all in a relationship, mm-hmm. who was the bad? Who was one of the baddest bitches you know right now in the in the, in the industry? Ice Spice. That's what I said. Brand okay, so, I, okay, so listen. So, so you got an old lady, right? You see Ice Spice. Oh, it's over. Oh, you cheating? Yes, and I, I ain't even no cheat. Even bro. if you don't cheat, I don't think like that. Even if oh, you, you don't, don't cheat, no. Listen, even if you don't cheat, you look at it and you be like, damn, I fuck the I shit fuck out the of shit her. Out of Ice Spice. Mm, that's you don't say that so when you see Rob for nine. Even if you're in a relationship, you're not acting on it. Okay, but thinking it. Yeah. You thought it? See, I got it. I got it right where I want it. We got it. I got it right where I want it. Gotcha, bitch. Because as a man thinking, right. you feel you me? But I'm not going to act on it. Let's be real. Let's be real now. I'm a faithful person. If we I'm had Rob if you are on the couch, you feel like he got more votes than your nigga. If you I are, don't got no nigga. Rob when I was on his couch. But, but listen, if you already thought about it, it's like you already did it anyway. No, it's not. How is it ain't? Because you ain't got to fit my coochie like, you know what I'm saying? You chilling. You chilling. So, so. So it's okay. So it's so it's okay if if you what if you think about that nigga while you fucking your nigga? Oh, Ooh, that's, I'm gonna tell you that's never happened. I've never had that situation. If you just if he was sitting on this couch all day, you might it might happen. Yeah. I ain't in a relationship so Rob for nine. You know what I'm saying? Get at me. It's I'm crazy. just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, this I is done, this is my whole thing. I definitely thought about another bitch. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. That's my whole thing. Listen, I don't, what's your what's your <laughs> what's your favorite food? I'm asking you. Chicken wings. What's your favorite food? Tacos. What's your favorite food? Curry chicken. Cause you eat that every night. Seven days a Damn, week. Nah. No, I get nah. what you're saying, and that's yeah. why niggas cheat, baby. Right. But women don't always do the same. I was saying, women, I don't I subscribe to this. <laughs> let's let's be real now. Cheat. Women, women are don't. just as big as cheating. You like chi- you like chicken wing, but goddamn, one day you want a steak. Yeah. Goddamn, it's just a part of life. Yeah. I'm gonna say okay, this though. So if I said, so I'm young. I'm a young man. I really have this delusion that I could be like in a faithful relationship. Nothing ever happens. You could. So it's not. Person, it's not impossible. Yeah. So as a young person, I could pretty much throw that out the window. No, like, no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying it, it's all individual. Like, first of all, that's you no, know, that's objective because everybody gonna have their own, you know, what I'm saying mind state. But it, when it comes to me, all I'm saying is that I feel like everybody gonna cheat at some point. I just feel mm-hmm. that. You feel me? And See, I'm all, and I'm cool with it. That's because mm-hmm. you got money. You can get. These it money. ain't about the money. It's about mind state because I know that a bitch ain't gonna want to fuck me the same nigga for the rest of her life for the next 30, 40 years. I can't be. I can't be real with myself and think that she gonna have okay, to. Okay, so for me, when it comes to relationships <laughs> in the industry, um, I was industry like, especially just being you know on camera stuff like that. Like I, I deal with a lot of dudes that want to just do the most. So me personally, like I just step away from that. Like I focused on what I had to do. You know, like right now, I ain't even fucking with. Like, uh, man, listen, you, uh, when you get in that game, man, and you see, you start seeing several niggas that you was like, oh, 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 oh. Mm-hmm. I'm be hot. I'm be hot, man. Yes, what? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if they choose you, you chosen. And whether you go or not, that's on you. I'm that's just saying, you. like, yeah. but it's easy. It's easy for us though when you got women like they just throwing themselves. You know what I'm saying? At you. So the the temptation is. You know, especially for a nigga who ain't never help. See, that's a different difference between me and like nigga. I've I've been doing this shit. Mm-hmm. So a nigga that come in that's new to the game, never had no money, never had no bitches. You want nothing in high school. You feel me? A lot of these niggas yeah, went shit in high school. You feel me? They had no hoes in high school, no right. shit like that. Or college, and no they shit. Going crazy. Then you start rapping, and then that's why the niggas be simps. I don't, I don't think <laughs> that's gonna be a problem for you because I done seen your roster, and you don't really like niggas with most. <laughs> 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 but now I'm gonna keep it white like though. Like I ain't gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a uh, monogamous nigga, but that's why I'm just not even gonna. When this shit blow, man, I got a couple of them that I'm trying to take down. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm not trying to get. And I might leave my bitch. If you, you you leave a nigga if he cheat on you. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. 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 Yeah
I don't know. It was just I'm saying so. Just that one nigga that fucking. That's not gonna work. Oh, listen, uh, listen. <laughs> a one a nigga fucking one bitch. Okay, say y'all on vacation in DR. Of course, that's where it really goes down. If y'all boys know. Yeah. If not, I put that boy in the past. Good forty dollars. Trying to get over there. I want to get out of here. Listen, what I'm saying that's them over there. That's what they do. But I'm saying this: if your man y'all go to, he fuck a little bitch before. He's never. He ain't gonna never see this bitch again. It was all just a physical act. Don't love the bitch. Never gonna see the bitch again. You think that nigga don't love you just because he did that? So I've matured a lot. I don't think a person cheating means that they don't love you. I don't there you think go. That that All right. But yeah. in the time that I was like, I was very into the relationship. I felt very betrayed. That's why I left. Now he's a ninety-five percent good nigga. He does everything right. Loves you right. Mm. If a nigga got a bag, you can cheat love it. If See that? That's that. That's that. That's your generation. That's their generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything over here. This is what I will say, like, yeah, a lot I'm of women do that. I'm a pan at the camera, like, you can't, you baby, can't be like we, that. Though, we men in the, the end of the day, <laughs> don't be, be like that. Be patient with yeah, me. Yeah, cut that out. What she you know said, what <laughs> look, check that, this that's, out. Gonna, that's crazy. <laughs> look, check this out. Man, you can cheat a little bit. I need that clip right now. Check this out. I'm a pan at the camera, like, I'm we men at the end of the day, like, y'all gotta be patient with us. But bitch, if you cheat on me, <laughs> just know. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's gonna be some issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, that's gonna be a hit to my ego. Like, yeah. I ain't got no ego. Me, I, I don't do. have no ego. I don't got no pride. I, I escaped do. that shit a while ago, and I'm it took, still, and it took years though. I'm still growing. You, it I'm took still years. Paying for pussy, like, I'm just, I'm have just, I paid for pussy? Yeah. Plenty of it, you know. See, these niggas act like they will never pay for pussy. But nah, you gotta realize. Wait, hold on, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Nah, he finna tell it. No. He gonna say what really happened. He told me, he said, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. I'm not gonna do this shit no more, bro. Yeah, I did. Hey, but listen what I'm saying, though. Wait, pay for pussy? pussy? He said about paying for pussy? Five, yeah. Oh, you was buying a lot like, of pussy. I gave a like? bitch, I gave a bitch Super Bowl 2005 in Jacksonville. What I gave that bitch? No, I think it was five racks. No, huh? it wasn't 2,500. It, five it, no, it wasn't no five with it. It was a five or nothing. It, it was, was probably five. Five bands? I was the five. Damn, I can't even. <laughs> no, listen, that's back in them days, though. Listen, you know, you, how old was y'all? How old y'all was? Two thousand five. Nigga, I was there. I was there. I was. I was nine. I was eight. Let me tell you though. I was, I was there though. I was sixteen in two thousand five. I'm bad at math. Hold on. Oh, oh, what even more? Y'all fucking yeah. me up. I was, I was nine years old. I was there. At yeah, five, I, was I was eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah I was in that Jacksonville in two thousand five. Yeah, yeah, we all from the city. Well, guess what? Guess what? Okay, so two thousand five. I'm for sure that I was sixteen. Okay, so you know. So what's the most? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. I think it's five thousand because the bit, the bit. Oh man, this bitch is. Now you. I'm gonna tell you the story though. I'm about to say what's your story. That's different. The bitch was so motherfucker. I went this in the Fox. I, I was at, went to the Fox. I was in an orange Lamborghini. That was mm. two thousand a day <laughs> that I rented for the weekend. <laughs> so race was different too. Man, this bitch was so fine, boy. So I was like, "Hey, man, I don't, I'm that nigga. I don't do all that talking, baby. I'm like, let let's get straight to it." Like she said, well, I, I, she said, I, I plan on making. I think she said, I plan on making like five bands and like. You're like, he you five racks. I right? said, well, let's ride. I, I said, I got, I got you. you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. And she would have said whatever she would have said. It was I going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish she would have said something. She was something bad. Lower, but, said whatever yeah. she would have so said. Listen, so listen to this. <laughs> she would have told me that. I would have. So no, listen. Like, I took, who you got a call center? No, I, I took her back to the crib. Fuck the, I fucked the shit out of her for 45 seconds scrum. 45? <laughs> I tore her ass up. Five Power bomb. <laughs> For nah, 45 I hope, I hope seconds. I had to stay the night. We got to No, ride, listen, bro. Man. I didn't give a Man, back then, I didn't give a fuck. I was trying to go into the next. I power bond up over 45 seconds strong. Well, yeah. I remember. I was, I was so mad at myself afterwards. I was like, why well, couldn't? But I put it. And listen. After he nutted, he was like, this is the ends of the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. No, let me tell you what I did. I tried to lay in, I tried to lay in that pussy. Hope that did get better, right? But it was, I, that, nope. I yeah. was out of there. But so listen. So listen. That was February, right? Mm -hmm. She was February. That was February, March, April, May, May. Like, uh, so you remember? So you know, if y'all know Memorial Weekend, always in Miami. She real big back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my birthday weekend, every Memorial Weekend. My birthday, May 29th. We go down to Miami, right? Boom. We going in the we going in the crowbar. It's a club called Crowbar. I see the same bitch. Guess what she mm. walking in the club holding hands with? Big Meech. Mm. <laughs> oh shit! I said, man. I, said, I told me. I said, man, that's that bitch. I did power bomb at the house, nigga, for five racks. 
She, she said, that is, nah. that, bitch. Is that bitch. That bitch is beautiful. Though. I ain't gonna lie. She with the money team. Y'all was doing yeah. that shit. Man. Yeah, we was doing that. That shit wasn't nothing. That's though. what I was gonna say. I feel like sometimes. Even, like, it, like, even with tricking, though, what's the. Listen, bro. Yeah, with the tricking, I feel like it's a circumstance thing sometimes. Like, no, 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 no. Let me, let me get my shit off. Get off. Get my shit off. No, 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 no. I wasn't me. I said, we said we didn't want to wife nobody who we knew. Had a history selling pussy. Of tricking. Or just tricking? Bitch nah. Bands. I mean, that's a pretty smart bitch. One thing about it, five, five, five bands? Yeah, but I could have drunk. If, what if, if I was the one of them long lasted that niggas, I could have yeah. took up through there. <laughs> I, pop, pop I, I feel like I feel like niggas will be like, bro, I don't trick, I don't trick. Like we kind of do do that, but I always niggas, say that tricking is relative. But yeah, if we, yeah. when we talk about pay, a bitch who who pay, like I can pay you to fuck. Pay no, I'm not yeah, wiping no, no, you, bitch. No, 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 no. I fuck so you. The though. girl who got five bands in forty-five seconds. No, I'm she's not gonna wife her. She's a fucking. I'm sure she's a whore. If I know somebody this wife bitch, me. let somebody let. You know why? You know why I don't do that? I wouldn't do that because. When when you having sex for money, which is called a prostitute, mm-hmm. <laughs> when you got a We're prostitute, day. Day. when you got a prostitute on deck, that means they will fuck anybody, anybody for that for that, for that, for that, for that right. same exactly. amount of money. If, if right. I know, they okay, got A's and Herbies and all. What type of shit? nigga would I be if I'm like, okay, I know, cash power bond for forty five seconds. Okay, then next mm-hmm. week she with me, and now I, I got now I'm trying to wipe this. Oh, that's crazy. Fuck you ain't gonna do that. Who Maybe do you that? meet her down the road or something, and you don't know about her yeah. history or something. Yeah, yeah once, you get, once you into the that's church how, and shit like that. All right, so what happens? What happens if Cash hit her ten years ago, and then you meet her and ten years later? And she's in church, lady. That's different. I, I'm, I'm not gonna know. That's different. No, no, yeah. I wanna know. Uh, yeah, I'm that's not gonna know. You fought young Cash ten years ago. That's ten years ago. But it's still the same. But when you find out, do you? If I found out Young Cash you, gave you, you five let's, bands let's, let's, For 45 let's, seconds let me It's a dub let, let It's a dub It's a dub It's a dub It's a dub Bro niggas are Bro if, so, if my bitch say the wrong thing It's like I'm looking already looking at you like What bitch It ain't a dub You done met this lady You love her Y'all having the time of y'all life And get what You You and you Then already slid it But you don't know that yeah, when I find out. No, y'all been having, y'all been hanging out, going yeah. out of town, doing all this. And Years in. You know, his name come up, and she come to you and be like, "Shit, I fucked him." I mean, and then, then you say something about her. But she we ain't done. We, we don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Well, time out, time out. And then you be like, "Oh, my co-host." And you be like, shit, I fucked that bitch too. That's what she says. Mm-hmm. But she says like 10 years ago or five years ago. And then next thing you know, you find like he hit too. It's a dub. Do, do, do you... By, by time you... By time no, we even... I'm throwing up already. Let me finish. Yeah. <laughs> do you... Discontinue? Although y'all are in a great space? Or do you... He says nah, I'm, I'm gonna be throwing up already, but bro. What you, would you be? Why? Be, wait, let me, ask you, let me ask this question. Would you be happier if she fucked him for free? Damn, don't. Yes, bitch. I would actually. <laughs> but <laughs> that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. But though. no, if I found out, I wouldn't be tripping. I'm and, not in circumstances. And her telling me up front, that's gonna get you some points for sure. Yeah, yeah. me too. I'm, 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 about, I'm about to. I'm about yeah. to. Yeah, I'm about right. to really say this. I've had girls that pull up or whatever, and they done told me like, oh, if you tell me up front, I respect that off the ripper, right. like off the dribble. No, I but see the thing shit. is, I don't give a fuck who you fuck before me. You could have fucked a million niggas. I don't give a fuck about that. It's the who. If you fuck one of my main dogs and slid, I can't. That's crazy. Can't be my wife. So if y'all find out that the person you marry. Her body count was like 150. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was 3,000. No. I don't yeah, give a fuck. Right. Oh, y'all give a fuck. Yeah, we I'm, married. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying me. I can't, I'm not speaking with them. I'm saying for me. That's, yeah. that's, why, that's why I don't ask body counts. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, give a fuck if it's before me. Like, as long as it ain't none of my niggas. You feel yeah. me? I don't give a fuck. That's why early in the game, I'm in that That's why I'm saying about you asking him, like, we ain't, like, I don't know him like that. Yeah, but he said we was all homeboys. We hung out. Oh, yeah, nah, that's the case. Nah, yeah, I definitely can't do it. You said what you said. I don't give a fuck who you fuck before me. I, I don't give a goddamn. But if it's my friend, yeah, it's, it's different. different. Yeah, it turns so, different. Ladies, you can ten thousand. But, but niggas hate niggas. niggas. Give it there. That pussy can go one thousand. Just don't think about it. Don't give a pussy. That's not what that means. Because listen, niggas hate me. All niggas been hate me in this city. For boy. no reason. Oh, they gonna always hate you about a bitch. Man, but I don't be known to me though. I don't be know who these niggas. Back in the day, I'm saying I ain't know who these niggas hoes was. I ain't gonna lie. Once that pussy good, I be laying in bed like, yeah, these my dogs. So I hit them. I ain't got to do all that. Yeah, they know us. Hey, I do the same shit I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Man, come on, crazy. Let me come on, man. Let me come on, man. That crazy. That's that nigga. That's that game. That's that crazy shit. I'm like, man, that ain't going up crazy. 
Yeah, 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 but me and Cam. All that social media or not, like, my last relationship, I just, two niggas was, that I be with was on her mutual. I'm like, how you know them? <laughs> how you know them, bitch? I'm like, no, I, I, I mean, you if know. you fuck with any of my friends, I can never fuck with you. That's Cal. Cal. That's Cal. 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 If one of your friends for Rob Knight, Full Knight, you can't fuck with him. Nah. You can't fuck him or you can't be in a relationship with him. I can't fuck him. What? I can't fuck after my friends. I only really got one to two. That's how I be feeling until you find out that they already did it. <laughs> yeah. It should be the other way around. It should be you can't be in a relationship. So hold up. So hold up. Wait, 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 wait. You telling me that you wouldn't fuck somebody that one of your friends fuck? If they had no relationship with him, it was just strictly a platonic fuck. It's back in the day. I'm not fucking behind my friend. If I know, if I didn't, what is behind him mean though? I'm saying like if I knew my friend fucked that person, you're not getting fucked by me. Like, I'm saying why though? Why? It's more of a loyalty thing. Loyalty. loyalty. She don't give a fuck about that nigga. I don't care. It's just like... A so who's the loyalty, though? I'm saying you said loyalty. Okay, but she said, I don't give a fuck about that nigga, girl. Fuck him. He got some good dick. He, fuck him. He got a bad, too. He you know how many times my niggas are saying that? If she get permission, she gonna fuck. Right. That's what it is with girls. What? Permission is crazy. I'm just saying, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but permission, bro. My friends, they gonna fuck after me. Like I'm saying, so you love every nigga you fuck? No. But I just don't want to. I don't do that. Like mixing up. Friends a lot of girls don't know that. Well, I'm yeah. saying so. If, if one of your friends fuck Rob for a night, you. I'm not fucking Rob. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Oh, you wanna fuck? You just give. You just give some head. Nah, I'm gonna try and go to Nardo Wick. She talking about going to Nardo Wick. Nah, it's different with niggas. That's weird. That's weird energy. I don't like it. Weird energy. I don't like it. I'm just saying, your friends don't give a fuck. If your friends say, listen, baby, yeah. I don't give a fuck about that nigga. If that nigga like you, he want to fuck you, you attract him, go ahead, girl, shit. I, I don't, I don't I give mean, a fuck I about that nigga. I have close friends, and I only have a couple. So Man, well, God, I'm good. telling them close friends, they tell you that. Yeah, it's a the nigga they fuck, and you like it on the nigga. Okay, so say this. What if you like it on the nigga, and you didn't know your friend fucked him? That's different. That's different. No, 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 listen, no. And then they tell you. They be like, oh, yeah, I had fucked him before, but girl, I don't, that shit was nothing. I met him, it was a one night stand. If I already like the person, and then they tell me, like, so I it don't matter you. then. You still a do it then. No, it's a person fucks somebody, mm. I'm not going to. Oh, so friendship, it's a, it's a difference in that, though. I can, I can, I got a vouch for that one. Well, it's a man, difference. my it's niggas don't give a no, fuck about these hoes. I was going to say, we, we on some other shit. <laughs> yeah, man, my niggas on some other shit. Sometimes it gets sketchy with niggas because sometimes they don't never get They don't never get sketchy with me and my own And then they get keep it all the way afterwards. Niggas be lying. I didn't have yeah, that niggas shit. be lying, and that's what my me and my niggas that's capitalize on. Mm-hmm. Like back in the day, I remember me and my nigga Lahan, we used to be keeping so real. Was we never we never bumped hands or fell out by no hoes? Because guess what? He'll tell me, "Cat, that's my lieutenant, right? I don't fuck with that one." Keep it real with yourself. That's the rule. That's, not, that's, that's my, not every day. Huh? That's never no different. No, because that's guys that know that's his thing. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. But if you say, "Cat, nah, beat that bitch." Got some good pussy. So, nah, so we talk about this all the time. That's, that's, I'm gonna fuck. That's, that's different. Cause get what I get what I say. Shit, nigga, I like that one. He said we keep it yeah, real nah, with yeah, each other. Yeah, we, we talk about it all the time. Like yeah, yeah, we keep it real with each other. If your homeboy, if he liked us, something you can't do it. But sometimes, but sometimes, but look though, you niggas can't keep real. You be like, fuck that bitch, but really deep inside, nigga, be feeling exactly. But you gotta learn your dog too, cause yeah. I done had my dog say fuck that bitch. Anybody like, nah? That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's your dog. You know your yeah, dog. He like that. I ain't gonna that's do that. That's what I'm saying. A friend, a bitch can be like, oh, I fucked him. It was nothing. But if I fuck him, it could cause friction. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you know, if you know your friend, bad. you know what caused friction. How if you, you, you really your friend, you would know that. But you know your friend really say, you know your friend. That wasn't nothing. I know my dog. You know that's real. She asked you that, bro. I got a cousin that say all the hoes he ever fucked still his hoes. He gonna be mad about him. You know that hoes know that about him. Yeah, so yeah, I just been playing over there. There's some niggas too many women out here. This is a fun topic. Now, what's the next one? What's yeah, the next one? all right, yeah, let's let's let's, let's, let's zoom through this shit. All right, all right, so boom. Cause I love the fuck. Uh, I was say we. Are, I love the fuck. <laughs> I, can't wait to, I can't wait to fuck. Real fucker. Can't wait to real fucker. Can't wait to the pot. We just real transparent over here in the wind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so we gonna I get to. Get this pussy right now. Get this over with. Let's go. Nah, nah, nah. I got five thousand for five seconds right now. Oh, I ain't do it. I would never do it again. This time, that that was about this time. That was a young young kid. I'm about to say that's like twenty five hundred these days. Listen, all right, so. We're going to talk about some shit that me and, me and bro got a theory or whatever that men really only get their heart broken once. Really only love. Yeah, keep living, young niggas. Only love that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only love that one woman once. Tight shit like that. So mm-hmm. we're going to just give a little scenario, right? What, what was we watching where this shit came up? It was something that we was watching that somebody talked about that or whatever. But basically. Yeah. Hmm? No. What? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> but no. <laughs> but no, nah, so basically like a nigga said, oh, actually on a couple episodes ago, V was like, you know, a nigga, he gonna fuck with a woman or whatever, and you gonna probably be like real naive that one time. 
You know what I'm saying? And then once the next time after that, you're going to go into your next oh, situation. I said, like, women oh. are hopeless or men. It's yeah. like, they'll be done by every nigga. We kind of like, once we know what's going on, I'm not saying you won't be fucked up by more than one woman, but we learn from our mistakes. Like, mm -hmm. I know. Them. What like, Boosie said. No, nah, you don't learn. A lot of I niggas don't learn from their mistakes, I got my heart broken at 14. I was way, way better. I, like I do. Because I be scared to get that hurt again. So it's like. Nah, That's nigga. How they, how, how, listen. Mm -hmm. Listen, young, young people. <laughs> how the fuck you going to ever experience life if you don't go all out right that's true if you got to mm -hmm. go all out bro at some point you got to be vulnerable you Thank feel me you. Thank so you. Your heart listen you can wait you can wear your heart seat or you cannot and just be that tough nigga and, and never mm -hmm. and never find i'd rather be be dropped dead in love and get hurt than to never love at all so what you saying is I should call her when the pot over? No. Yeah, call her. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but look at it like this. Like, call okay, like, Because it, 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 but you only die once. Oh, yeah. But I'm saying like, okay, like, I feel like we all know that one person we was real fucked up. Yeah. Now. Well, do like, you agree damn. with it? Do you agree with that? I don't no, no, no. I definitely do because anybody I'm gonna be in a relationship with, I want to have genuine love. Like, I don't yeah, wanna, but you hold I don't want to be no closed off nigga. You is being closed but, off. You said but, it one time. You only can do it one time. I feel like I feel like I'm talking about that deep love. Like you know that motherfucker who drove you delusional. So you think you can't deeply love somebody else? If it ain't deep love, love they drive you delusional though. That's toxic. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe I am talking from a toxic standpoint. Because yeah. yeah. I was gonna say yeah, I disagree yeah. only because I don't have my heart broken. More than one time. Everybody had, bro. And that shit hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, Everybody had, bro. <laughs> but it feels good, though. At the same time, that, that shit went along. That whole did her bit went on me that second time. I'm sorry. That shit was different. But listen, though. I was like, this shit feels different. I can't breathe, ma. Yeah. It be like that. But I'm saying, though, guess what? You over that shit, though. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, you going to get over that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, look. And I'm still love the next nigga I really love. You got to. Not every nigga, but if I'm fucked with this, I'm still love. Yeah, you got to go. You got to go all out. Like, y'all don't be crying over hoes. Hold on. Nah, I can't cry over no bitch, but. Nah. I ain't never cried over no bitch. I ain't never cried over no bitch. Because I. I'm tell you, I'm gonna I don't have to puff with tears in my eyes. At, at a young so. age, I understood that at any time anybody can switch up on you. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you five months in, I don't care if you 30 years in. It's the people who've been married 30 years and all of a sudden that person don't love no person no more, and there's nothing you can do that's about a real that shit. Lesson. Having no expectations, Bitch, we've been together you can for do 30 about years, that shit. You wake bro. up the next day and be like, you don't love me. Yeah, bitches go left and you and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> That nigga said, "Not for her neck." That's why. Yeah. That's why I don't like loving a lot of people. Cause me, I'm crazy. Like, bitch, I'm you playing with my heart. Like, bitch, I lose my freedom about this shit. Like, <laughs> let's go ahead and take it. Nigga said he's snapping her neck. I'm gonna be for real, bro. The quick one, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that whole day and I'm gonna sit there till, till they come pick me up. Nigga, yeah, like this. <laughs> now you sharing shit. Now you take a shower with niggas. I'm 42 years old, man. That's how we sit. <laughs> but listen, I was just sitting like that, but I was like, damn, we, we over here like this. is kind of crazy. I'm 42 years old. I feel like y'all flexing on me because I know I'm big. My leg can't be up there. Hey. That ain't right. I said, I literally, must have looked at kids sitting up here like this. I was gonna say we was just sitting like this side by side. Yeah, it's sophisticated. Well, you ain't from Florida if you don't know what a what you call an icy cup. But we call them um, honey drippers. Nah, honey we got somebody probably we call them frozen cups. You call it frozen cups? It's, yeah. it's from Jackson. So I was in college. Never frozen cup. Yeah, when I went to college, I realized that shit different. Like niggas in Orlando call them shits like Lily Dillies, Lily Dillies, 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 Dillies,
smoking this man. No, hold on. That's it. No, you know how it's I got going Because this shit was so crazy that I had to screenshot it. I was just waiting. I'm like, this is my... Hold on, hold on. Let me say what I said. I said, hey. May will make one year since I ate some pussy. That's what I said. And I said... But so the girls was like, I why? Live without I, da, da, da. I said, because... Everybody, the bodies that I've hit since my last relationship, my last relationship ended in May. So I said, anybody that I hit, I'm, I'm not finna eat your pussy. You're Boring, loser. Loser. Nah, I'm not eating random pussy. I'm that nigga. I, I got to suck that pussy. It's my favorite thing to do. Ah, I'm not eating random pussy. Ah, youngster. I don't eat that pussy. Yeah. Look, this is what the tweet said. It was just crazy. May will make one year. He, he ain't capped though. You tweeted this nigga? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was on my ass. That was on my ass. I rolled on my life. Me and I'm that bitch. Check him out. I'm sure you saw that life. shit so fast. Nigga said, May will make one year since I ate some pussy. Mm. That's crazy. <laughs> that nigga, hold on, hold on. That nigga thirst trapping. <laughs> yeah. No, I, 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 I think they thirst trapping. Hoes was definitely in my DM. I know you yeah, is. You know what? You ain't never had no. I'm gonna be honest. This is one note. They can get you to eat their pussy. Hey, when you think a nigga is a challenge, I purposely will try to get their ass. That's why I do. That's why. That's why we say that. Because you phone. You ask me about what is it? No, she the type of bitch on the floor, man. A bitch ain't never made me come from here. Like, <laughs> it just never work. It just never work. work. We talk, we talk. It's and I came every she was time. Like, bitch, you don't always say they don't come back here. We be like, we what you posted yesterday? What I posted yesterday? Gullible. Gullible. <laughs> <laughs> What is she said? That nigga said that's crazy. Lol. Dot. 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 What is she said? <laughs> that's crazy. And hey, you seen the whole spot to it? Yeah, right? that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, you, that was a play. That was a trap. No, he's sick like hey, that. Hey, be real in the pot. You ain't ate pussy, or was that just a play to get bitches? Nah, that's right. He ain't no pussy. I'm, I'm, he know. You're lame. Sit on my that's face, slam it in my face. What you said? <laughs> Do all what we doing tonight? I'm gonna take it easy because tomorrow it's up in cocktails with my sis. What they got to do with that thing? <laughs> what I got to do with me sucking pussy? <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, hey, get wet. I'm not intimidated by y'all trying to piss. You talking about? <laughs> hey, I asked the nigga what you're doing, and he sent me this. He said, Duval, what y'all doing? That nigga don't live in Duval, man. He trying to figure out. Oh, he trying to. 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 No, that was a problem. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, no, no, no. Listen, listen. That was your thought. Hey, y'all. I'm going to be in town. <laughs> my, hey, my <laughs> third ain't. Oh, 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 listen, my thirst traps ain't no motherfucking indirect shit. My thirst traps is direct if I want to do that, yeah, nigga. Right, that, right. Yeah. I really was. That was just a promo for uh for uh, Asian no. Party. And that's why I was like, you trying to put me out like that because you are my close friends, so you know how I give it up. Like, don't do y'all that. Y'all boys got close friends? Yeah, I got close friends. Oh, I got no close friends. What's wrong with close y'all friends? Y'all boys might well have older fans. Nah, I don't be doing all that. I don't be doing all that. I put all that shit on my regular shit. The shit I be saying, I just block my mama. Anything else? Block my mama and then we'll do that. Okay, y'all. I do want to get into the shout out of rock out. So we have a second called shout out of rock out. Okay. So I'm going to give a scenario. You tell me if they shot the fuck out or if they need to rock out. Uh, okay. <clears throat> we're going to start with this one. My husband didn't come home when he said he would, so I showed up to guys night. My husband has been hanging out every weekend for about a month. It usually doesn't bother me, but lately he's been getting in at 3 and 4 a.m. I understand he needs this time with his friends, but this time I set a standard for him to be home by 11 p.m. He agreed, and that was it. By 12, he still wasn't home. I knew this would happen, so I planned it all out. I put an air tag under his seat before him. Shout out. I headed over to the house where the car was parked. I recognized that it was one of his closest friends' house. I walked in the garage where they were, <clears throat> where they were furious, and my husband bear-hugged me and laughed profusely with his friends, and they handed me a beer. While I was there, one of the other friends... His wife came across came from across the street yelling at her husband that he needs to come home since it's now 2 a.m., which is understandable. But she seen me and got even angrier, telling her husband he was lying about it being guy's night. I tried to interject and tell her I invited myself. She dismissed me and proceeded to scold her husband. Later the next day, the neighbor told my husband that me showing up has caused serious issues in their marriage. And next time he needs to, quote unquote, keep your bitch at home. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just shot them a guy. My husband checked the guy and told him it wasn't my fault, but now I feel terrible. Shout out to Rock Out. 
Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out. I'm going to say yeah. shout out. I was on your side, mama, until you said the air tag shit. Because yeah. now you just wilding. That's, like, cool. That's called stalking. Yeah. I think you shot the fuck the air tag out. Is crazy. She needed that. She needed to see that he really with the guy. Niggas just like, chilling with him. Watch the fuck out. Niggas stop coming home at 3 or 4 a.m. when I say be here. Only reason I'm going to say Why do I got to be home at 11, though? I said so. But I'm saying I ain't doing nothing wrong, though. Because I like a crazy bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. That nigga said. Yeah, I'm gonna show you too. I'm gonna show you. I might show up. Next time, next time we gonna be at the strip club. Yeah. yeah Since you think that's what we do, we gonna really do this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess what? When you walk up, I'm gonna act like I'm mad. Like, bro, you doing too much? I'm like, <laughs> really? You like, like yeah, yeah, you pull up. I'm be like, y'all boys see, y'all boys see what putting it down. Yeah, y'all boys got a mind for y'all still do all that type of shit. I ain't with all that, nigga. I ain't. I'm gonna think your ass. I'm gonna call you delusional, crazy. I'm be like, why would you do that? Yeah, for real. What what reason did I give you? And now you causing problems in my man's relationship. Yeah, you don't fuck up a whole lot of shit. Why Behind everybody else shit. old lady can respect it but you? Yeah. <laughs> your insecurity is <laughs> a good time to me. Your insecurity <laughs> fucked up what we got going on. You fucked with these people relationship. Yeah. And now I look like, bad. Man, and you got me looking like, like I can't really control my... Sh- I think she should have rocked out. Niggas stop coming home at 3 or 4 a.m. Nah. And there's a strict curfew. Bitch, you should, you should be home two hours before the club closes. I feel like she... Girls should. always say that shit but don't nobody go to the club before then. Right. Y'all nah, the only ones who get in free before she that. She needed a wake up call. And then like, they got the guys night too, and they like they was at the club. That yeah. would have been a problem. There was it, bro. Garage. Yeah. 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 As soon as she got there and see that yeah. it, it was his home house, she should have mm-hmm. left. Mm-hmm. She, you but know what? Everybody know that she one thinking like that. Crazy she bitch. thinking like that because she fucking. Mm. Yeah. No one talking about uh-huh. that. Yeah. <laughs> Rock out, baby. I'm on your side. I'm going to say, if you're going to do all that, by the way, you're a great reader. Yeah. Because ahead of your class, I can tell that. That is funny as fuck. We've been paying for lessons. We ain't, ain't start out like that. <laughs> she was in this bit like Fantasia at first. She's a lot. Wow. No, that's wild. That's wild. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> y'all, Fantasia be watching, probably watching this, man. Y'all boy. I love Fantasia. Y'all boy blowing up. And y'all boy saying shit like that. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. And we gotta put that in the room. <laughs> Are we really That's gonna be crazy. in a room with Fantasia? Like, I'm no. trying to be in a room with Fantasia. Like, I love Fantasia, but you know, I'll take the Fantasia here. Y'all want it's one cool. more shout out to Rock Out? Yeah, okay. go ahead. All right. Y'all boys don't it, even know Fantasia. They, literally, Fantasia. they literally just. <laughs> niggas in that, smokers in that bitch. Y'all got some names on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, top of the class is reading. <laughs> is it a red flag that my boyfriend thinks my dad's Valentine's Day gifts are to me are creepy? Every year for yo, Valentine's yo. Day, my dad sends me flowers and chocolate. He has done this every year since I was a child. I'm 23 now, and this is tradition for us. I think it's sweet. I grew up close to my dad. I started dating my boyfriend a year ago, last year, and I got a delivery from my dad for Valentine's Day. Fast forward to this year, we were discussing our Valentine's Day plans, and he made a passing comment about hoping I didn't get any creepy gifts for my dad this year. I was confused and asked what he meant. He says it's creepy for a dad to send his adult daughter Valentine's Day gifts. I was taken aback. I tried to let it go, but it's been bothering me. Is it actually creepy for my dad to send this stuff to me? That nigga shot it. Baby, this nigga shot the fuck out. Baby, you can tell when a nigga baby, had her daddy. Baby, yeah, baby realized she went to Bishop Kenny or something. <laughs> Bishop <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> She went to Bowles. She went to Bowles High School. That nigga said Bishop Kennedy. Nah, nah, you really don't know shit, Professor. She be reciting this shit <laughs> all the night before. So, so the dude felt like it was weird that the dad... dad. Do you have children? Of course. you have daughters? Two beautiful daughters. My dad always gives me Valentine's Day gifts. So yeah, like my daughter's... I don't give a fuck. That nigga don't have no daddy. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and, and he was giving her chocolate. He had like he gave her some uh, some lingerie. Some yeah, that said daddy's her boyfriend pussy. weird. <laughs> yeah, he weird. Just, that's the type of nigga that are like he ain't had no daddy. See her hug her daddy too hard and be like, do you be fucking your daddy or something? Like that's, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that that, that, that gave me yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer vibes. Some yeah, type that's, shit. That's, that's if it was a girl, what would you say? If it was the other way around, how would you feel? Oh, what your what? mom give me? If a girl was like, like your mama, your mama do too much. My mama give me something Valentine's Day, right? A card or some candy, right now. That shit ain't like. I feel like like what, what what's wrong about that, bro? Nothing yeah, wrong. That's just a weird ass nigga. My mama kept attitudes when I don't get her nothing for Valentine's Day. Straight up. Yeah, we should set the standard. Like me, I have a child. I'm gonna always give my child something for Valentine's Day. It's a love day. It's not mm-hmm. just something for Yeah, that ain't sexual. No, no, we Why would why would he somebody even think like that? <laughs> <laughs> but like, yo, like, where, where we going with this? Yeah, where we going? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why what was he, he what was just he a weird wrong? dude. Like, why would you make some weird shit like that? No, you talking about a nigga. The nigga wanna see like weird. So like, all right. Let's let me ask y'all this though, because I'm a nigga who I always get in trouble. I feel like if it's a girl, if we not together, that I don't think I'm supposed to get her something for Valentine's Day. Am I tripping? Nah, you shout out. 
Yeah. You shout out. I mean, it depends on what y'all relationship is like. If you fucking with her, but y'all not together, then you're. Cause I had to learn. Cause I like first, women, bro. So I, I mean, I yeah, do it for I, friends. I, I, that's what I'm like saying. Yeah, old ladies. ladies. Cause, Mom, yeah. yeah. Cause at first it's like, if I'm telling you I'm not trying to be in a relationship, I feel like me giving you a Valentine's Day gift is kind of sending mixed signals. Nah, I'm back to nah. you're a greasy nigga. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, but real shit though. So I had to realize, cause girls be like, nigga, um, be in that bit. I know we've been fucking three years, <laughs> but listen. <laughs> Yeah. We, we not together. together. <laughs> that's fucked up. So that's wrong. So I don't feel no more. But like a, a, a couple you. years ago, a girl was like, that's like, true. like, nigga, you ain't tell me how we Valentine's Day. I was gonna bring y'all yeah, Valentine's they be getting mad. Business. No, I'm not. That's in enough trouble already. God, yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Go, yeah, I get all, I get all women I know in my life. Yeah, that's nah. cool. I'm cool with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that? Yeah, it's just showing love. Yeah, I don't. Don't, think. don't show me you up, bro. For your mom? <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't show me up, bro. No, I'm just saying. I'm, not, I'm a nigga. Listen, I'm, I'm a nigga that I, I'm a nigga that I mostly hang with females. You feel me? Because I don't fuck with niggas. Mm-hmm. Me too. You feel me? Like I got like four or five main dogs, and that's it, bro. Mm-hmm. Me too. And I can name them. You know what I'm saying? I can really interact women make with great women. friends, bro. Yeah. But yeah. girls don't like that. Though. And let me, but and but you can't you fuck them. That. You can't fuck them. Right. I'm glad you them. said that because I'm so tired of these weird niggas acting like you can't have um, what's the female platonic, friends? Platonic yeah, platonic relationships, relationships with yeah. women. I got a girl best friend, and I got homeboys who like I don't know how you could do it, and I'm like, nigga, you just man. A all dog. listen, all my all my homegirls. <laughs> nah, he ain't got behind that drop. He just said he didn't. <laughs> Oh, you don't got behind that drop? Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> that was a crazy nah, way to say yeah. it. Like, oh, that's nah, that wind talk. Nah. What I'm saying, like, I got my, all my homegirls, they all fine as fuck. Yeah. I'm be, like, the ones that I talk to on a date, like my real friends, they all fine as I fuck. I see my sisters. They're saying. Right. But see, you need homegirls like that because like me, like me and bro, like we both mm-hmm. got like bad female friends or whatever, platonic and shit. Mm-hmm. But they be they, like, you get the game from them too though. Just like we get on the game, you get a lot yeah. of game from them. And they put you in with their friends. I would say, like having no friends that go wrong is like time, really though. beneficial like I get a lot of games it's like I know how to move I know how to act with men. he hit on something though good. you cannot cross that line man, once that you fuck is a wrap like cause if you, you got some that can keep it gangster now I don't yeah, have some. back in the days I don't have a lot of them that's done kept it gangster and I'm still cool with them now but, but some of them be too in their feelings yeah like, they get if they catch them feelings then it's a wrap mm-hmm. cause they gonna move with that feeling that emotion yeah mm-hmm. so when they see you talking to another bitch even though be y'all friends mm-hmm. they gonna hate immediately Mm-hmm. Because they still got a feeling. It's some. It really is some. You would never know. Shout out to you, baby. <laughs> Sick. You, you need to figure out who your real friends is, though. Nah, facts like all my female female home girls who I, I have fucked some of my female home girls. Who you wouldn't do it to, but if you, I you have make to. it yeah. a, a situation to where somebody yeah. knows that hey, these off limits. And if any one of your homeboys try them, then that mean they trying you. Yeah, and and vice versa with the girls. Like so, with girls, you kind of got to set the tone. Like, hey, these my homegirls. Like, and these gonna be my homegirls exactly before like, and right, after. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But just my on the face. other side, like with yeah. like with yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you got you say, to. Hey, these my real friends. So if your homeboy try to uh, intertwine and interlope on what you're doing, you feel me? You gotta you gotta let it be we known. Don't give him a damn episode. <laughs> nah, man. No, listen, man. No, man. The G is uh. He one of the artists in Jacksonville to see, cause like I said, I base a lot of shit on club play. Like a lot of these niggas ain't never had no songs played in the club, but they supposed yeah. to be. You feel me? But Man and G had they had like yeah, two records playing. That in was the club. you on that party shit. Oh, which one? That party shit that was just playing. Nah, he played a song earlier. I know the song. Though. The, uh, the Key Sweat record. Yeah, mm-hmm. that song. He had another song before that too. That was popping time. That so like yeah, he he had one of them. He one of the ones he that had. Out. We need him yeah, yeah, he no, 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 no. Get, give him a couple of drinks and he out of here. He ready yeah. to rock. Yeah. Right here on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually talking too much, but this is my real brother. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's my little brother. Yeah, so, right here yeah, on the couch. On, like I said, it's on, it's on the few niggas so, I fuck with. Yeah, you, he you, got, you got like four or five of them. I actually yeah. want to ask for forgiveness because I may have overstepped a little bit. Are you good? But, <laughs> this pain and baby, bro. This is what the yeah, fuck we do. Yeah, this is what we do. Yeah. I feel like when this shit over, like he finna have his arm around you. Like I really love you for real. Yeah. Right? Nah, that's my nigga. <laughs> nah, that's my little brother for real. Like, yeah. You know what? You know you drunk in the car, you yeah. know. Like any nigga try you with this bitch, bro, I'm gonna slide that nigga right I'm, I'm, I'm ready to die about this yeah. shit. I swear to God, bro, I'm ready to die about this shit. I'm gonna fuck out you, bro. For real, bro. <laughs> Nah, for real, that's Y'all family though. Yeah, we done been in the field. <laughs> but no, G shit. Um, it's uh seven o'clock. I got okay. right. Oh Wait, yeah, what's the hygiene For who, men or women? Hi- anyone, anyone, either or. Wash your ass, white. Yeah. 
hundred. Man, I'm gonna say, hey, listen, I'm gonna tell you some crazy shit that happened to me one time. One time, I had um, it's nasty story, but it's just is I tell it because it's it happens. Amen. Yeah, so one time I had hit this chick right. I had the rub on, so but I I was trying to hurry up and escape because. Somebody was coming. I can't remember. A dude was coming home or something like that. She told me after the fact. Yeah. So I hit boom. I got up out of the. I still had the rub on. I ain't even take. The, I ain't had a chance to take the rub off. Then my other bitch hit me. She's like, I'm at the hotel or uh, somewhere. Uh, oh, that's crazy. No, listen though. <laughs> She's at the hotel, right? So she in the room, right? I go to the room, right? She already naked. I get in that bed, boy. She trying to pull my pants out. I seen her. Like, oh shit! Duck off. Wearing the duck over to the bathroom, but that's a true story. But I, I can't believe I did. No, that bro, shit. I ain't gonna hold you. My brother did that same shit. Shout out to my brother. Oh yeah, fuck nigga. Shout out to my brother, man. Same yo, shit. That was crazy. I was young though. We were young, but same I, 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 shit. I thought he was gonna go deeper than that. Well, Wait, I'm he not nah. Before young cash go. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. we? Hold can on, we end the episode? Let's go with you. So yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> y'all know we we got different segments, but man, we want to appreciate. We want to say we thank you for pulling. Oh, man, this love, man. I love this shit, man. Yeah, one of my favorite parts. Shout out to Manny too. Yeah, shout out to Manny G. Oh, yeah, Background Manny. <laughs> we ain't get his own. <laughs> we get his own. Yeah. Yeah. Young Cash, that nigga, and y'all, y'all them niggas too. Yeah, yeah, straight, straight, up. Up. straight up. You too. Yeah, you that girl. You oh, yeah, you got to always you say. You a part of the nigga, but guess what I'm going to do for you? You that lady. <laughs> yeah, I always say you got to give up her. She don't like that shit. Cash, that nigga. Y'all them niggas, and get what? You that lady. You that lady. Yeah, so we know you got to get out of here, man. We appreciate you fucking with the pod. For sure. You know what I'm saying? We ready to see the new music that's dropping. For sure. Yeah, man. Man. you really dropped some man. gems on us. So we're going to go ahead and sign out. You know what I'm saying? Make appreciate sure y'all, y'all, man. For if y'all don't me. know, yes, tap in the Duval Legend Young Cash, man. So, we here. Yeah. Nappy yeah. Boy Blues Brothers coming soon. Yeah, all that good shit. It's your boy, Low Key V. And it's your main man, K Thrizzle. And it's me, Mocha Bay. Come on, Mocha. It's paid in bays. It's paid in bays, hell. Get money and wash your ass, hell.